Chuck Claire's connecting to audio. Hey, Chuck Claire. Hey, what's up? What's up? Okay, I can hear you now. I can hear you. So we're live on Facebook right now because I was playing a little a little game. It's the boy band game. Do you want to play? Uh, I will do my best to know what the boy bands are, but yes, I will okay. do my best. <laughs> okay, it's pretty easy. So we have uh, six players right now live on Facebook, and we've got 30 answers so far. So we're on to the next one. So guys, everybody say hi to Shaw Claire out there. What's up, everybody? How you doing? How you doing? Hope everybody's being safe and you're being nice to your neighbor and your family. Call them and make sure that they're doing okay. Hi. Hello. What up, Trevor? How you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Um, so I don't want to know what city you're in, but um, or or should I? Yeah, maybe I should ask what city you're in. I don't know because you're not at home. Where are you? I'm actually I'm actually in Mississauga. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm actually in Saga City. He's in the Saga. Hey, is anyone else in Mississauga out there? You could just type it in the comment area. OK, so the game that we're playing right now is actually pretty cool. OK, so do you remember the boy band called Five from uh, I think they were in the 90s? Uh, yeah, the actually. Yeah. OK, so here's the question. Now we're going to we'll let you answer it. I'll answer it. And then anyone who's at home can answer it, too. How many members were in the boy band called Five? Was it three, six, five, or four? Now, I'm gonna assume it was five. I'm gonna assume it was five as well. It only makes sense, right? The yeah. best. Part, I'm gonna click five, and then it gives us the answer. It will tell us the answer. It would be awesome if it was only three, though. Okay, we're both. I know. Five. Imagine that. It would be awesome if it was just one guy. Yeah, one guy. <laughs> one guy with multiple personalities. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> all right, drum roll, please. Da, 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 a whole bunch of other people said it was five. It is five. Congratulations, Shaw Claire, Trevor, Alana, Nicole, and Alana. Alana wrote it like five times. Okay, we're on to the next one. The next one is Backstreet's Boy. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet's back. All right. I want it. <laughs> So how many members were in the boy band Backstreet Boys? Hmm. I think it's, I think it's five. I think all the boy bands were like five of them. Yeah, there was the, there was the lead singer, the yeah. backup singer. Um, there was the one guy that you kind of just wanted to figure out what he was actually doing. He was just to make the group five. And <laughs> there was a bass kind of bass tone guy and yeah. and probably somebody that helped with production so we're, we're talking in general that's the five that's the usually the boy band thing right it's like boy band five. always had five five or three never yeah. four or two it's true they always had like a lead singer a secondary lead singer and they were always the really handsome guys that the, the girls loved and then like you said they had the bass guy and then you had the high-pitched guy and then there was the guy that was just the filler, who was a good dancer, not the best singer, but like he just, right? <laughs> who would that be? That would be, um, oh man, not, um, oh, new kids on the block. That would be Danny, the muscle guy. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Step guy, by step. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. So that I have seen, um, talking about uh, new kids on the block, I've seen them three times in the past six years because they kept coming back to ACC and they had some really cheap tickets in the nosebleed. So I was getting these passes for like 20 bucks or something. And so I kept watching them because, man, they put on such a good performance. And um, Danny is still ripped. Like those guys, they look fantastic. For the oh, race. yeah. You know what's crazy too? It's um, because what were they? They were like eighty-eight to like ninety-three or something like that, ninety-four or something like that. Totally. And uh, and then the funniest thing about uh, about it now is like, because back then, like you know, like we were listening to like, well, me anyways was listening to like Mob Deep, Onyx, uh, Wu Tang, uh, all yeah. those guys. And now. When they come back, like you said, you saw them a couple of times or whatever, they come back with like Nelly and Naughty by Nature. Like they come back with like hip hop groups oh. on their on their boy band tour. And it's like, OK, <laughs> it's dope. It's so dope. I love that, man. Um, they just had that. I've seen Salt and Pepper. Uh, yeah. So the last tour I saw with New Kids on the Block, it was like Salt and Pepper. Um, uh, I think TLC was there except yeah. for the girl, like the one eye um but i think she they had a video of her and they did a little 
they did a little uh we miss you and then there was like a little video of her and it was really sweet mm -hmm. i don't remember what other bands were there but it was yeah i love that nostalgic stuff yeah all that all that early late 80s early 90s type uh just when music was kind of getting into whatever the music would be doing type thing and uh yeah it's uh it's very nostalgic and the funny thing is is that even if you weren't like a fan of the band the funny yeah. thing was you know all the songs yeah. so like when you hear it like i remember new kids on the black they had that game uh that song called game where i think for the first time donnie Wahlberg was rapping no nice. no no more games <laughs> i was his rapping back then and it, it was cool like you know what the, the real thing is that i just i was appreciating the fact that they were into rap like they yeah. liked it and it wasn't like you know like rap what did he used to call it? He used to have it on wrestling as I was watching while well, I still watch wrestling now. But he used to have this whole campaign he used to call rap crap and all this other stuff. And it wasn't going to be around or whatever. But then to see like these guys that are huge, super, super, super pop stars and they like EPMD and they like Public Enemy and they like NWA. And it was, I, I just, I kind of thought that was cool in its own way. Yeah, definitely. It's, you know, it's, um, it's funny because there's so many artists out there, like there's so many of these bands out there that are like, they come in and they'll do like one song and then they just kind of disappear. That was actually big in the 50s, right? Big in the 50s, 60s, sorry. I'm all over the place. I was just thinking about, my mom used to always play this music for me in the 56, um, 50, 60s music when I was a little kid. And there'd be so many of these like boy band and girl bands and they'd have like one hit and that mm -hmm. was it. And that was it, That's, that, they wrote on that one hit forever. You know, like they just rode that well, tail. Re well, remember, because um, uh, back then, um, well, we weren't even born back then, but back then, um, that <laughs> was the uh, the beginning of 45s, right? Yes. Like the 45 vinyl, which is kind of like in a way that it's kind of changed into today, because then by the time it got into like the 70s, 80s and whatever, then albums, there was always albums, but albums started coming out. And then yeah. now how it is in like from, I guess, maybe 2010 till now, you see like a lot of, although it's not on vinyl anymore, um, but you see a lot of like singles, again, like 45s, people just release singles and they just become big singles. So it's almost like it's uh, doing a full circle there. Yeah, true. And, uh, and then, well, records became so hard to get a hold of eventually, right? Like for DJs like us, when CDs took over and then MP3s took over, and then it's like, yeah, good luck finding any albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like good luck finding some finding some vinyl. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I got like a the little... background. I like the background with the Trevor flashing over there. <laughs> you know why? You know why it's flashing? There's no flasher here. It's just because I have two bright white lights on me. We're trying to. Fi I'm trying to figure out the balance of the lighting, and so to light me up, there's two front lights that come in and light me up, but then it. It messes with the green screen, but it looks like kind of like a party type thing. <laughs> yeah. If you remember, I uh, remember that uh, old dance show, uh, Solid Gold. It looked like Solid Gold dancers in the back right there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Somebody yeah. say, yeah. And <laughs> okay, we're going to see if we could get you on here because uh, my thing's acting up, but. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Hey. Shaw Claire's in the house. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? I see it now. Got a yeah. party going on back there. Uh, uh. It's nice because oh. now, I've, now I've got some space so I can like dance and stuff. <laughs> uh. And uh, and I and I like the the Jays jersey. It's dope. Oh, thanks, thanks. It's uh, you know what? I've never seen this one. It's it's in silver in the back, like silver. Oh yeah. Oh, holiday. Yeah. R.I.P. Holiday. Yeah. Yeah. That was um. Right when they changed, like, you know how they changed it back to like the old logo, but I remember when they changed it to this logo and, um, and then I was kind of happy that they changed it back because it was just nostalgic for me. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Same with me. This, so this logo was what, uh, was it like nineties? Cause this isn't like the old, old logo. This is, this the, is like, like the, the mid one. Like, yeah, it was like nineties yeah. going into 2000. Yeah. I definitely like this one too. I, I thought that was a pretty cool design. Very, uh, very like hip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, word up for that. <laughs> yeah, so let's say hi to a couple people who just joined us. Aton, what's up, buddy? Uh, Nicole, hi Nicole. Hey Dylan, happy birth, happy pre-birth, happy past birthday. 
It was his birthday two days ago. Oh, okay. Happy belated. Happy belated. Uh, Brian, <laughs> what's up, Brian? <clears throat> I'm mixing all my words up. Guys, uh, we're joined today uh, by myself, Trevor, <laughs> and my second personality. And of course, uh, we got Shaw Claire in the house, all the way from Mississauga, in Mississauga. Burr, burr, burr. Yeah, I'm out here in Mississauga. What's up, everybody? Staying in. As you could tell, I've been... Um, been like locked down for the past I don't know month or whatever so when you see the grizz and everything like that it's I you know what that's where I was coming back I tried to go and find a razor but they were all sold out so no so I'm razor free right now so that's why I look like I just I have a I should be wearing red and black flannel chopping wood like Paul Bunyan <laughs> Yeah, and an axe. Yeah. <laughs> and I, yeah, yeah. Dude, you should just totally grow it into a beard. Like, let's say we're on lockdown, because they say the lockdown might take two years, right? But it, I figure it's probably going to be done the next month, like the end of May. But mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what everyone should do is just like, just grow everything out and then see where you're at when the pandemic's over and just take a photo of it. You know, and be like, this is what I, you know? I was so relaxed. They didn't have to shave. Uh, I don't know. Almost like, uh, what is it? Uh, Movember, when everybody um, grows their mustache. That's so true, yeah. Movember. We'll just call it, uh, we'll just call it uh, 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 epidemic beards. And, epidemic uh, beards. Cr crisis, crisis beards. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, so for how you, how you been? How you been? Uh, I've been doing pretty good, you know. Um, it's been, oh man, it's been, it's been a crazy week. It really has been a crazy week. Just trying to figure some things out. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been taking a walk two times a day easily around the house. I go to the park. I do some stretching. I've been trying to do some weights. I'm trying to keep my, uh, my body in shape for when all this is over. Because, obviously, I'm not going out dancing right now. I'm not doing shows. Um, and so like, you know, I'm pretty well just stuck around the house other than getting groceries. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find that balance of making sure that my body is still in great shape when I get back on tour. So I'm like not dying, you know, doing an hour show, trying to like throw your hands in the air. Somebody say, yeah. And I'm like sweating, you know, I'm like, Oh, too much, too much you know, too much of that sugar stuff I've been eating. So oh, how yeah. about you? you, you uh, man, I've been, um, I've been good. I've been, um, one of my favorite places doing the skip the dishes thing here so everybody knows them whatever but wild wings i don't know if you can see the back Ooh. i love wild wings the wings that i get is called the farmer's daughter it's uh it's actually really good and uh i just been doing that and yeah just you know kind of doing like secret uh push-ups and chin-ups so all of a sudden when they see me in two months they're like man how did shocks get so cut <laughs> <laughs> that probably won't happen but uh uh, it's a it's a pipe dream for me anyways <laughs> don't worry I, i've been saying the same thing i've so when i was in um in in january i was in cuba for a month and i was walking every day i was i was traveling through and writing music right and so by the time i came back i was like ripped i had a four pack of abs my shoulders and arms looked fantastic i looked like my college days almost you know like when i was in great shape and yeah. so then I'm, so I, I come back and i'm like i'm like super happy i'm like yeah everything's awesome then I get this tick bite and um, for 10 days I'm in and out of the hospital and I can't go to the, I can't go to the gym. I can't work out. I've got intravenous in this hand. This hand's all swollen. It's like, I can't do anything with my arms. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like sleeping, drinking a lot of water, trying to clear it all out. Eventually it's over. And then we hit the pandemic like right away. Okay. And uh, there was also the school strike. So because of the school strike, I'd lost so many shows. So I'm not doing shows. So I'm not, you know, working out and then the pandemic hits and then all my, all my tour dates are done. And so like, I haven't really worked out since Cuba, which was January. And uh, now I'm stuck at home. I'm just eating. I'm like working on podcasting, you know, working on ideas. And I've, I've probably put on like seven pounds of like, of not great stomach area <laughs> spots. <laughs> you you know say that's, I mean? that, you're saying that's why the camera is only showing from like the mid stomach up. <laughs> you nailed it you nailed it that's exactly what it is <laughs> you can't see my hips <laughs> what, did, what, did, what did Shakira say the hips don't lie that's right Shakira Shakira 
<laughs> um, I, I'm doing I'm doing fine. Uh, like I said, I start working out. So that's that's good. You know, I feel like I'm getting back. You know, the worst is the late night snacking. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, what? because there's nothing. It's like in the day, you know, you do whatever you got to do during the day. But once it hits like around six and your day's over or something like that, then there's nothing to do but eat. That's true. And yeah. and watch whatever you can watch. Like, thank goodness, my brother. So I have Netflix and my got my daughter, the Disney. So I guess I got both. But then yeah. my brother got me on the um, got me on the prime. So now I got something, but I think I've watched almost everything. I've binge watched uh, like the Ozarks and uh, Animal Kingdom and all these different. You now the first thing that I found out today um, that I didn't know was coming up is the new Jordan movie that I got to go and check out. It's uh, that Michael one just Jordan? came out. On, yeah, there's a Michael Jordan. I don't know if it's a documentary or something, but it's out there right now. You know, I saw the preview for it. Uh, not the preview, but I've seen. I saw like the picture of it. it uh, I think I was on Prime and I think I saw it on there and it was like Michael B. Jordan. I was like, Michael B. Jordan, is that Michael Jordan? I saw that last night. Oh yeah, no, Michael B. Jordan is- um, It's a different guy. He was in, yeah, he was in, I think he was <laughs> Black Panther. Uh, he was, oh, he was, uh, yeah, he was the villain in Black Panther. That's, that's who, I, I believe that's who he was. But uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, Michael Jordan has an initial in the middle, I just know he's MJ. And uh, that, that's the thing. And apparently it's really good. And uh, so I guess that's going to be me this evening watching uh, the Michael Jordan documentary. It, it, I think there's six episodes and they're like two hours long. So I got a night ahead of me. Is that like on Netflix? On Netflix, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to look it up. So anyone at home, you guys uh, check out um, that, that MJ, uh, Michael Jordan special on Netflix. And then... Next time we come on, we, we have something else to talk about on top of everything else we're talking about. I yeah, ab absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So should we finish off this game? Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if I know any more about boy bands. Okay. Boy bands. Bam, 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 bam. I <laughs> want it sideways. All right. So we got Backstreet Boys and we were just talking about that. You thought that there was five people in Backstreet Boys. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to say four. I'm probably wrong. Uh, I'm going to say four. For anybody at home right now, how many people, how many members do you think are in Backstreet Boys? We're going to tell you the answer in five, four, three, two, one. Shaw Claire, we're going to hit your number five and see if it is five. You are correct, Shaw Claire. It is five. Uh -huh. I told five, you, five, five. All, the, all, the, all the boy bands had five. There was a lead, a backup, some yeah. dancer, producer, and is a muscle guy that just looked cool and nobody understood what he did. That's the formula. <laughs> That's the formula. That was the formula. Like well, look at even look at even new edition. They had six only because they added Johnny Gill when oh, Bobby Brown left. Johnny Gill had a really good song. What was that? Uh, King of Wishful Thinking. Is that no, Johnny it was uh, "Could You Feel" and "Rub You the Right Way Feel." And then he had my, 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 my. Yeah. Which was like, I think that, I think everybody that was born in the year 2000 uh, yeah. was because um, their parents were listening to Johnny Gill back then. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Jodice, and Jodice. <laughs> and Jodice, yeah, Jodice. Who else was in the new edition? Bobby Brown? Bobby Brown, Ralph Tresvin, Ronnie DeVoe, Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens. There's the five. Oh. And then when Bobby Brown left, in came Johnny Gill. Actually, did I say his name already? I don't know. There's six now, but there was five then. You did. And you just said a couple other names. And I think those guys might be in uh, Belle Biv DeVoe. Yep. Poison, Do Me. Um, yeah, yeah, that God. was because uh, uh, BBD, me. right? It was Michael Bivens, yeah. Ronnie DeVoe, and Ricky Bell. And that was the BBD. Oh, man. I love that band. Do Me Baby. <laughs> was one of my favorite songs and poison was i still play poison at some events mostly when oh yeah when, when 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 it goes up when that song all you hear is that um the snare cracks that pat 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 pat, pat bam, all of a sudden poison. girl i must warn you and then the party just lights up just like that i love that yes. track <laughs> yes i totally. still have the album actually i was listening to it the um i think the album was called poison and i was uh just listening to it where um 
yeah, I, I was listening to it just the other day. Oh, Rube DeVoe, go. You know, I, I, I love that Poison song. Another song that really got me that nobody, I felt did not become a big song was, um, so there was Poison and there was Heavy D. Um, oh my God, I was just thinking about it. I just lost my train of thought. Heavy, Heavy D, was it like a house kind of track? No, no, it was hip hop. Uh, now that we found love, now that, yeah, we, that we found, found love, love, what were you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, Heavy D, R.I.P. Heavy D. He had like, if you go and look up, uh, go look up like Heavy D's catalog. He had some tracks like Mr. Big Stuff and all these other songs. It was, it was great. He, he had some tunes that people probably forget about. And even back then, I don't know how it became fashion, but everybody was wearing like rubber suits. So he was dancing in his big, like yellow, like he must have been hot in it because it was like rubber. It was like jogging in a garbage bag. It was so big and it looked hot. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you know, that seems to be that quick phase that happens. I feel like every decade there's that little phase like Alvis did it in the seventies. Uh, he was doing the black leather. Um, Eddie Murphy did it in his oh. uh, <laughs> Delirious. Remember? Eddie Murphy, every, every, Eddie Murphy, it's like, it's funny because Eddie Murphy in, in Delirious, he had the red leather suit and then in yeah. Raw, he had the purple snakeskin suit and yeah. he was sharing a story. I was watching him talk about it the other day and remember that show in Living Color where J J Jim Carrey came from and the Wayans brothers and all those guys came from oh, with yeah. Wanda and Jamie Foxx. And, and so Jennifer was, Lopez. And Jennifer, oh yeah, Jennifer Lopez. And the That's Josie right. braids, where the girls had all the big, big braids, the Josie braids. And he was yep. sharing the story that uh, um, it's not Damon Wayans, it's his older, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Oh, yeah, and the tall saying, guy. Yeah, yeah, he was saying how he lent him his delirious suit and he ripped the jacket. Yeah, well, of course he did. Look at the size of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. That's. That's like one of those Elvis Presley items you have to like put in a, you know, glass box and put on the side of the wall. Right? It's like the Billy, it's like the, um, the Michael Jackson, Billy Jean jacket. Like there'll never be another jacket with so many zippers. Definitely. Yeah. And there'll never be another Eddie Murphy, raw, delirious leather suit ever. If somebody tried to do it, they're going to instantly be like, that's Eddie Murphy's suit. That ain't yours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, even I went through that phase too, a couple years ago. Um, I went through these like silver, full silver outfits. I went through these full uh, black outfits, these full gold outfits. It's funny. I actually came across them yesterday. I'm going to go and get them right now since we're talking about it because I think it's hilarious, but they're not breathable whatsoever. So <laughs> 10 minutes within my performance and some of my shows were like 45 minutes of like pure dancing. I'm yeah. like, just, I swear it's dripping down into my socks. By the time I'm done, my <laughs> socks are drenched. I got to go get them because I think it's hilarious. And, and as you go and get it, look, when you look at the exclaim picture that's in the back behind you uh, yeah. uh, of me, it's like, remember when everybody used to wear them big, big jean suits and those pants, like usually I wear like a 34, 36 or something like that. Those yep. must have been like 47. Oh, yes. I see when everybody saying. wore extra big clothing. Yeah. Yeah. The that jean suits. That suit what, was so big. What <laughs> year was that? Were. What year was uh, that? That's got to be like 99, 99, probably 99, 98, yeah, yeah. 99 around there. You know what? I totally remember because my, my waist is a, uh, it's a 30, it's a 31, 32. And I was, I was wearing 36 and 38 jeans. So I remember that phase <laughs> of my life a hundred percent. You know what? I'll share, I'll share with you a very quick story is like, okay. So um, I was telling some people the other day that um, back in the day, like, I was one of the first ones to actually get my, my own shoe. It was called, called the Shot Classic Mustangs from Reebok. Yep. A and they flew me down to uh, New York. So this is before the G unit shoes, before the S dots by uh, Rockefeller. And they flew me down to New York for, because I was with Reebok and they sponsored Allen Iverson. So they brought me down to New York for this Reebok launch thing with Allen Iverson. And I remember, um, Fat Joe and R. Kelly was there because uh, they had that song with Fat Joe and R. Kelly about we fucking jumping up, stop jumping in the pub. That song. Yeah. So I left my belt in Toronto, and now I'm wearing 46 pants. <laughs> so obviously I can't go out with no belt because my pants is way too big. Yeah. So what I did, um, it's a crazy story, is 
I took the clock radio from the hotel room, yeah. tied it around my waist like a belt and put the clock part in my pocket and pretend it was my pager all night. <laughs> but it kept my but it kept my pants up all night. It was awesome that I actually pulled it off. Uh, but yeah, that, that was me going to this big fancy Allen Iverson party in New York City. I had my own shoe at the time, me and J Junkyard Dog with the Raptors. We had our thing, we had our standout, uh, our, our life-size cutout in all the um, athletes world and sports checks and stuff like that. And here I am with, and here I am with no belt and a clock radio in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome dude at this party so that's a that's a little bit something that happened to me back in the day <laughs> dude that's a great story i'm so glad you you shared it with me and everybody else because you know it's those little things that just show our our characters and our personality that you know you still the show still goes on and you just have to do what you got to do just to make it work right yeah, just to make it work, just to make it like yeah. I could not not show up. Right. And I was there yeah. with all the label reps and the Reebok reps. And yeah, it was just time to MacGyver the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The famous MacGyver. I did the yeah. same thing. I was on tour. Uh, I was doing the Street Beat tour uh, that we were sponsored by Pepsi. And it was this video dance party and we're out in BC. And I remember we were touring from uh, New Brunswick to BC. This was like in the beginning of my career. Uh, the Trevor show was just developing at that time. And um, I tore my pants in the crotch. Oh. And, and my buddy goes, dude, we had black ga uh, gaffer tape at that time. We had to tape wires down with and stuff. And so I was, he's like, just put some gaffer tape on it. So like I gaffer taped my pants. Uh, just so there's no <laughs> hole during the show because that's not good, right? You can't. Be yeah, sure yeah. Here, it happened. To, it happened to Lenny Kravitz once. I, I, you ever remember when that when he ripped his pants and he wasn't wearing underwear and everything hung out when he dipped down? Like that's a Lenny Kravitz story. You YouTube that. It's there. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm a big fan of Lenny Kravitz. I haven't seen his concert yet, but one day I will. Yeah, I'm yeah. Lenny well. Kravitz is dope. Uh, oh, and then. Um, and then, yeah, just another funny story as you're saying you ripped your shoes. So I, um, okay, so if my friend from uh, Medicine Hat, if he's on, Casey, uh, if he happens to be on, we were in Niagara Falls. It was my friend's birthday. We went to Niagara Falls to go and uh, whatever, celebrate the birthday. But he was wearing running shoes and they wouldn't let him in with sneakers on. So we took off his black socks, flipped them inside out, put them over his shoes and walked up to the door so they looked like it. And I remember the person on the front door, they were like, oh my gosh, I've never seen furry shoes like that ever again. And we got in the club, just like that. It was so crazy. How did that happen? How did you not know that was socks on the shoes? <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Man, you gotta be creative, you know? <laughs> yeah. I guess that's why they call us artists. We just, that's we just, right. figure, we just figure it out. Okay, I'm putting us yeah, side. I'm putting us side to side right now, so everyone can see us. Um, let's do another round. So this is what we could do. We could. We could. This could be the um, where we we play a game. We let everybody figure out what the number is, and then we talk about stuff. Is that cool? Perfect. So it gives people something to do while they're listening to us. They can also be thinking too, and, and having a little bit of fun out there. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do that. Perfect. So everybody who's joining us right now. Hey, Tara, I haven't seen you for a while. Hope all is well. Dimitri, hey, Jeanette, hey, Anne, hey, Nadine. What's up, Alana? Um, good to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. It's Trevor from The Trevor Show and Shaw Claire. We're just hanging out today. I don't even know what day it is. Is it Wednesday, Tuesday? Uh, good question. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> right? uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I know, it's funny that we don't even know right now. No clue. Um, <laughs> And so we're going to keep playing the game. Um, so the game that we're playing in the background is uh, we're talking about boy bands. We're talking about boy bands right now. And we're asking you how many members are in this boy band. I'm going to tell you what the next one is, because we were already talking about these guys, Shot Claire, and that's the new kids on the block. Step by step. Ooh, baby. Gonna give it. Or does he say that? Right? But I know he says, girl, I just don't know what the word before that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Girl, I don't even remember it either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I was wrong. There, not every boy band had five because I remember 98 Degrees was only three. Three? Whoa, really? Yeah, that was Nick Lachey and his brother and somebody else. That's true, yeah. Before four was only three. Four. Three, yeah. Why did they call themselves before four and it was three members? That's Because that it, well, it was just before four. It was three. Uh, 
<laughs> you know what? Okay, never thought about it like that. But it makes sense. Before four, there's three. Um, remember their hit song? It was like, if you get down on me, I'll get down on you. You, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll do all um, those things you want me to do. <laughs> S, S Club 7. Ooh, was, was there seven of them? I don't know, but they had a TV show. And uh, I'm going to think that there was seven or I don't know. They should have been called S Club 6. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so I think we got our answer. A bunch of people, Nicole, Alana, they said that there was five in the group of new kids on the block. I think you said there was five. Yeah, you said there was five as well. And I believe there was five as well. We're going to give it a try. And we're correct, guys. There was five. We're on to the next boy band, which is LFO, Summer Girls. Remember that song, Summer Girls? I remember LFO. How'd it go? Uh, I, it was like, dun, 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 dun. I do da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't remember the words though. Uh, I remember the group, but I'm not remembering the song. So I will probably get this wrong, but I'm just going to assume five again. Five. Okay. So Nicole says seven. For anybody watching us right now, we're, do, we're talking about boy bands. How many members were in the boy band LFO? Was there three, four, five, or six? <clears throat> you said five, Chuck Claire? Yeah. Okay, so if you're saying five, I'm going to go with four. <clears throat> I'm going to go with four. Uh, Nicole says there's only three. So let's uh, give it a shot. Well, let's hit the five like we regularly do. It was three. Hey, Nicole, oh. congratulations. You got it. Uh, big up, Nicole. Big up, Nicole. Now I got to go in uh, YouTube LFO because I'm forgetting this. I do remember the name, but I'm forgetting the songs that they had at that point. You know what the, the cool thing is, is that... Um, yeah, I think this might start some nostalgia, right? Where people were like, oh, I want to check out, like you just said. Sorry, I'm yeah. just reiterating what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good because I want to go and make sure I remember. I want to, like, you know, just get that. Oh, I lost your mic. Chuck, I go. can't hear you. Oh, there you are. There we are. Sorry, someone was just calling in. I hate when they do that. <laughs> I know, shoot. I want to show. You know, my phone, my phone just messaged me and it said, uh, it said, um, oh, you have a show tomorrow. <laughs> so my, my calendar is still up and running. And so if clients aren't calling me rescheduling, we obviously know with the pandemic, there's no shows whatsoever. So if the client yeah. didn't call to reschedule or cancel, it still stays in my calendar. So it just popped up and it says, you have a show tomorrow at one o'clock. And I went, no, I don't. Why are you, why are you, you know, why are you just teasing me for? <laughs> Stop getting my hopes up. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's exactly what it is, right? My hopes are up. It reminds me, I got to charge my phone. But uh, we are now on to new kids on the block. Uh, sorry, in <laughs> sync, in sync. How many band oh, okay. members were in in sync? Now I should definitely know this one. I was in the boy band. The tribute to. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. The only name I'm really remembering right now is going to be Justin, um, but definitely that's five, 100%. That's five. Yeah. Because it really, because it was BSB and Instinct, and they were kind of clashing. They weren't clashing, but they were the two big bands, uh, boy bands at that time. Oh, they totally were. And the cool thing for us as the tribute artist, we were sometimes tributing with the Backstreet Boys tribute, and so we flew out to Dubai with a stop off to. Uh, Amsterdam in uh that was my third show with the band and uh and, and so we have the two boy bands you know was that your phone oh that was me so that was kind of cool and uh and another cool thing is I got bit by a um I was in the Red Sea in Dubai when we were doing the singing out there and I got bit by a um oh what was it one of those Jellyfish. I got bit by a jellyfish. The oh, whole wow. left, yeah, the whole left hand side of my body went numb, and where it bit underneath my arm was all green and swollen. And the uh, the lifeguard comes up and he goes, "Don't worry about it. it. They're not deadly here. They're just painful. If you want to get past it, if somebody wants to pee on you, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy Russ, was it Russ? I don't remember. One of those guys. They're like." Dude, I'll pee on you. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just uh, deal with it until it goes away. What, yeah, so with, what, 
what's up with you in nature? First ticks, now jellyfish. Please don't tell me you you stepped on a scone or something like that in the, in the ocean or something like that. Dude, I totally did. I, I, <laughs> I stepped on a, a bloating, I think it was like a bloating fish. And it, it basically, they, they have these like porcupines on them. Yeah, and it yeah. stuck right in my foot and I, I couldn't get it out. It was like ridiculous. Yeah. So after that, I bought water shoes, those rubber water shoes so I could step yeah. on them. Yeah. See, that's why that's why um, me and nature, as much as I love nature, me and nature somewhat don't get along. Like I'll go out to like BC and they want to go and hike in the woods, but then they want to go off the path. And yeah. I'm like, they have a path for a reason because the bears are on that side and the mountain cougars are on the other side. So let's stay on the path. Like, I don't want any of that stuff to happen. <laughs> You're not a fan of hanging out with those animals, eh? Uh, no, I'm good with cats, dogs and budgies. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I totally yeah. agree. <laughs> so for anybody who's joining us out there, what is the answer? How many um, artists are in in sync? How many artists are in sync? I, did you say five? Sean? Yeah, five. I, I'm going with the number five. I'm going to go with the number five as well. Let's click it over and see if we are both correct. I'm sure we are. It is five. We're now onto the next one, which is... <clears throat> The next boy band is, oh, just give it a second. It's reloading. We got a lot of things going on in the internet here right now, so. You know one song I really liked from Instinct too was when they started changing up to be like, uh, like when they started doing like songs like Girlfriend with Nelly. And then he did the one song, which I knew was gonna be great. Um, not he, the, the group did it. Gone, cause Brian McKnight wrote it. Oh, I love gone, that Gone, something, something, gone, something, something. And now all of a sudden, it was weird. It was like the boy band. Like, so if you were like a hip hop R&B head or, you know, even if you were into like alternative rock or something like that, it was like their transition into like urban coolness, I guess you would, you would say, because it was like this song called Gone and it was like, it's very soulful and powerful. And I just remember, and then all of a sudden there's the girlfriend with Nelly. If you be my girlfriend, dun -dun 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 whatever it's as you can tell i can't sing that's why i rap but i love the dynamic of it like i love the dynamic of like the hip-hop and then the like this yeah you, like you said like you know the kind of soulful music i uh, dude, i love that song yeah that's a great song i really like that song gone like i could hear it any time and i'll be like yeah that's a good one that's a good one and you know it's it's funny that you brought that song up so i was still on the tribute tour when that song came out and um I had just broke up with my girlfriend at the time. So, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, and, and if I remember correctly, that song Gone and um, No Strings Attached, I think that was the No Strings Attached album, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was. There were so many good songs on there. One of the songs was uh, produced in Toronto at Metalworks. I don't okay. remember what song it was, but it was one of my favorite ones and I can't remember it. But as I just broke up with my girlfriend of the time, me being on the road touring was like probably the best thing ever, right? I'm getting to see the stars, looking up at the trees, you know, just like nature, nature, nature. And so almost every time I sang that song Gone, it would be me and all the boys would be sitting down on a chair and I would walk up and I sing it on the microphone, right? I would, there was always a part in there, I would cry during the show while singing that song, but nobody really noticed because I was not that close to the crowd. There was always some sort of barrier, right? yeah so there's there's a little <laughs> Trevor. but then you know what but then you know what i bet you like even if you were like showing like um uh like you know say some type of emotion during a song like that yeah like i bet you that there was flowers and bras being thrown on the stage at that point but ah trevor he's so emotional <laughs> <laughs> i was in the states once and this mother came up to me and she's like can you sign my tits i was like uh this, <laughs> this is a kid's show i don't think it's appropriate <laughs> but but I'm done in 15 minutes. Come see me over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what the funny thing is, is? There's been a couple of weird body parts I've signed over my days. And it's just like, okay, all right. Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'm in for the adventure. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, like, yeah, okay. I actually had somebody come up and walk up to me with like a flower in a box. I was uh -huh. on tour with Rozelle. It was at Reds in Edmonton. And 
they came up this so the security let them walk up on stage for whatever reason they let them and presented wow. me with a rose in a box and a uh, underneath the rose was an unworn panty oh wow that's uh and uh that's one of my favorite <laughs> gifts i ever got uh, as a professional artist. <laughs> as a professional artist. It's the little things that count. <laughs> it is It is the little things that count. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Go buy me jewelry. Send me, a, uh, send me a box of roses and turtles. <laughs> turtles, tur turtles, turtles. <laughs> okay, we're on to the next boy band. For anybody out there who's hanging out with us right now. So there's a boy band called Color Me Bad. Remember, I want to sex you up all night. Yeah. Um, how many members were in the boy band Color? Sorry, uh, yeah, Color Me Bad. How many members were in the boy band Color Me Bad? And so while people are are thinking about that, I'm going to show you those outfits I was talking about that were not oh, yeah. breathable. So oh, I have yeah. the, I have them in every color because it it was a thing for me for a little short while. So this one is the purple. Wow! Uh, look at that. Prince would be the prince would be proud of that one right there. Oh, he totally would. That was my favorite <laughs> color too. Uh, then we've got silver. Get the silver okay, basket. that's like Morris Day. Morris Day. <laughs> and I'm telling you, these things are not breathable at all. Like they're they're good if you're doing like the walk, the Hollywood walk, and you're like for photos and stuff. But to perform in, forget about it. It's like you, you wear it on the red carpet and you change in the dressing room right away. Wow, look at that gold. A gold pants and gold jacket there on that one. Uh, what's his name? Michael Myers and Goldfinger, gold member would be completely happy with that one. Ah, oh, totally. It also came with a gold hat and I had gold shoes that lit up. The shoes lit up. So during that period of that tour, um, all my shoes lit up and changed colors at the bottom. Remember those LED shoes everybody was buying? Yeah, yeah. What's that, pink? Hot pink, yeah. Jeez. I know. So well, the idea, they're very, they look very great for like, they look very like showtime performance ready. Like, you know, I'm imagine like when the lights hit that, like you probably like, you know, you probably sh shined like a disco ball. I shine like a diamond. I shine like a diamond. Shine like a diamond. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, I actually bought two of these and these were the for the female dancers. So the pink was for the female dancers. The rest were all mine, the purple, the silver, the gold. But that was kind of funny that we, we touched base on that about like Alvis and Eddie Murphy and, and the original person we were talking to uh, about wearing those like leather pants that you couldn't breathe in, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What a time for those, man. Like what a time. Like it was, it's like, um, it's like when um, I look back at uh, old pics or I'll look back at like an old pic of like Danny O back in the day and he had the kid in play high high cameo all the way up into the top of his head and then now like you know he's completely shaved down low and whatever but the styles we used to have in our head i used to have the bobby brown gumby from every little step i used to have that hairstyle nice <laughs> <laughs> but you know it is fun to have those kind of hairstyles right like um i had the same thing i mean it obviously looked a little bit different but i had that box cut of that hair that uh, I'm just adjusting my camera right now um, but I had that I had that army cut that went like straight up and then right across because I was yeah. like, I got that long <laughs> hair yeah, and that, that, was, that was some styles back then yeah yeah that was the style right and then you'd like maybe even cut an eyebrow you know what did uh, Jay-Z said it in uh, uh, put your hands up uh, 4 a.m. we gonna do it again he was like with three cuts in your um I seen the thing. I seen the same thing happen to Kane. Three cuts in your eyebrows, trying to wild out. Jay Z, do it again. I had the three cuts in my eyebrows too. You did. Eh? It was a thing for a bit. I liked it. It did was you, a thing. It was, and it it was a big thing. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. Last year, I saw a couple people with it too at the club. Um, well, it's all coming back because you know what? I even told I told my friend probably going back like five years ago or something. I was like, I'm just waiting for acid wash pants to come back, and then it came back. It totally came so, back. Yeah. So now I'm waiting for them to draw Bart Simpson on her jeans again with overalls. Oh, nice. <laughs> overalls were huge. With the with, with the one strap, like the one strap was yes. down and you had the one strap up. <laughs> yes. 
I love it. We're, we're talking about fashion now. We're back on fashion. I love it. <laughs> that was such like, and they had to be baggy though, right? So when you were dancing like the cabbage pat, patch or the, like, you know, whatever dance moves you were doing, they weren't tight. They were loose. Yeah, um, you need, yeah, you needed the space to go in do uh, uh what was the move that uh, my so you saw with thread the needle where you jumped over your leg and, oh, and then yeah. went down and spun while you came back up yeah <laughs> nice holy man how all that stuff went down back in <laughs> i know but isn't it nice to like to to go back in our minds and like talk about it and think about it and then just remember like where we came from you know because it didn't all just happen in one night everything that we've done to accomplish to get to where we are started way back in the day wearing a certain clothing different haircuts different shoes the last time me and you talked we had spoken about jerseys and when you wore that certain jersey it always matched the pants and the hat and the shoes and like yeah. you're buying you're buying your jordans and you only bought those jordans because they went with this outfit and then you'd put them on the shelf until you wore that outfit again or yeah you know that was that was the thing like uh see i was just talking about uh acid wash and whatever but yeah red shoes um red suede champions yeah i bought a pair of red suede champions i bought them for a week i was working at um before they closed it down exhibition stadium for anybody that doesn't know that's before the blue jays went to the sky dome rogers center whatever everyone calls sky dome will always be for me yeah. and for Same. one week, I had them for one week, and then my brother went and wore them and decided to go ollie on his skateboard and put a hole by the small toe and ruined them. And I was like, it took me three weeks to save up money for the, because that's back, like now it's almost average for shoes to cost like 150, 200, whatever. Yeah. Back then, you know, you'd buy shoes for like, you know, whatever cost, but they were like $150 for champions, especially being like 16 that was a big deal and he ripped them up i was so mad that i told him i was never going to talk to him again but that lasted like two days <laughs> and then we were friends again <laughs> then we were friends again <laughs> but he did ruin my shoes and i will never forget that he did ruin my red champions red <laughs> red suede champions so you got the cleaner like even the suede like i got all the stuff to keep it nice everything yeah and he and he ruined them i think i remember those ones that was back in the, was that the, the same time as like LA gear and the Jordans were out? So this would be like uh, uh, early 90s? Early 90s, yeah. Early 90s, yeah. When they just started making, like everybody was wearing like hush puppies, uh, was the thing, buffalinos, troop yeah. shoes, troop suits, MCM hats, JV hats with the, with the silver on the front, as we were talking about uh, Heavy D. Yeah. And they would have the silver and Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation hats and stuff like that. It was back back then. Nice. Uh, let's talk to uh, let's talk to the people out there. Hey, anyone and everyone, how are you? I hope your day is going really well. I'm hanging out. My name is Trav. This is Jacques Claire. We are just talking about life, and we're also playing a little game right now. It's called How Many <laughs> Members Are in the Boy Band? So, and we're talking about stuff. So, if you guys want to put a comment or if you have any questions, don't be shy to put it in the comments area. We will answer some questions. Um, when we get to it, but we were talking about Color Me Bad. How many members are in the group Color Me Bad, Shock? Um, okay, so there was the light skin dread. There was the guy that had the five o'clock shadow. That's two. There was yeah. a guy that had long curly hair. That's three. I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm going to say four. You're going to say four. So yeah. not the, not the typical formula, <laughs> right? Because they weren't because they weren't really a boy band. They were just a group. Yes. That's so I, I would say four of them, four of them. Okay, we're going to give it a shot. You say four. It is four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I do not know this boy band. They're called 3T, and the song they, their hit was called Anything. If you know how many people were in the boy band 3T, put it in the comments. Do you know that boy band, Shaw Claire? No, but 3T, three yep. teenagers possibly. I'll say possibly. three. All right, Sarah, hi, Sarah, hi, Phil, what's up? Hey, Tanya, hey, Nicole, great to see you guys. Hi, Diane, um, 3T, so so we should should we give it a three? Let's hit a three, let's see what happens. Yeah, I say I say three. It is three, congratulations, you got it. Some of them are Man, just- what am I, what am I right now? I'm, I think I'm like, I'm, I'm four for five right now or something like that. Oh, you're killing it, you're killing it. And I know, I know- <laughs> who, who knew how much I knew about boy bands like this, huh? 
<laughs> well, you just got very specific on the last one too, the coloring bad. I was like, oh my gosh, you actually, you knew pretty well in depth about them. You're like, yeah, the long dreads and the, the guy with the six o'clock shadow. I'm like, <laughs> I, I love music, so when I'm into it, I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> yeah, well, that, I guess that's the thing about being a musician, right? It's like you're, you, uh, you submerse Plus, yourself. Sex, sex you up with, like, come on, that was like, oh. that was the song when you used to go to the club, and if you were lucky enough to be able to, like, you know when you used to be able to dance with a girl, but you would dance with her, like, in the middle of the dance floor? That was yeah. one thing. But if you were able to dance on the wall with her, you oh, were the yeah. man. Yes. You were the man. Like people would walk by and give you daps. Just be like, word up, bro. Word. I remember that. And Color Me Dad, Sex You Up was a uh, Color Me Dad. Color Me Bad uh, was a, uh, that was a tune. That was a big, big, big tune. Now I got to go and hear it again right now. Well, you know what? I just pulled it up. So why don't we, uh, why don't we play it? Absolutely. We'll play it, we'll play it. We'll play it and then, um, should we put it on the big screen so everyone could see it? Sure. Are you playing the video or are you just yeah. playing the song? Yeah, we'll okay. Play, play the video. Let, let's do it. Hold on a second, Harry. There we go. All right. Well, I don't think that's working out. <laughs> I don't know, my screen just went white, but I still see you in the bottom right corner. Yeah. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Oh, well, well it's back to us. It's back to us. <laughs> A good song, though. I want to sex you. Yeah. Let me take off all your clothes. Make the phone so nobody knows. <laughs> oh, man. And you know what? And this is like right when the song started getting aggressive, too, like aggressive sexually out there. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you know, it uh, it partly reminds me of Before 4. Mm. It kind of reminds me of Before 4. They had some like really like nasty, not nasty, but like very sexual songs. Like If You Get Down On Me, I Get Down On You, that one type thing. Yeah. So the, it was very similar, but like more modern. But remember, remember before it used to be like uh, suggestive. Like they would be like, what was that group called? And they had that song where it was like, um, when I saw you, I saw the mountain and the rivers and the sun and the stars, but my life all for one, all for one. Ooh, all for one. Yeah, all for one. I they, swear. They, but, yeah. I swear, yeah, I swear. And then it would be like suggestive, like they would be like, when I'm with you, I see the mountains, the stars, there's volcanic yeah. eruptions and everything like that. Compared to now where it's just like, beat the something up, beat the something up, beat the something up, beat something up. And you're like, okay, okay, don't even get you in the mood, just go right at it. <laughs> yeah, that's totally it. I think we're gonna have to put I swear on right now. I just queued it up because I thought this was pretty awesome. And for anybody out there who's hanging out with us right now, how many members are in the Jacksons? How many members are in the Jacksons? Type it in the comments. And while you guys are typing that in the comments, I know you know the answer, Shock. I know I know the answer because it's- It's the in the group name. <laughs> it is, yeah. It just, it's funny because it doesn't say the group name number. It just says the Jacksons. So, but we know exactly it is. Yeah, we know. Yeah. So anybody that doesn't know, here's time for you to go and catch up. And you should know this. You should definitely know how many people were in the Jacksons if you don't know. Yeah, and while we're while they're writing that down, we're gonna throw in a little bit of all for one. Can you hear that? Okay. I can hear it. It's uh, I hear it, but it, it plays like it's in the background to me. So it's yeah, it not... is in the background. Yeah. Okay. Cause I, cause I stand you through the years. You're 
I'll never break your heart, girl. <laughs> at least, at least try not to. <laughs> we all know that that's a lie. We have to break hearts. What's what's that? What's that show? The Mary Popovich show or something? It's like and oh, Mor Maury Povich. Yeah, and the answer shows that is incorrect. He will break your heart. <laughs> Anyways, great band. That was awesome. Uh, we're doing the Jackson something right now. How many members are in the Jackson? And so, oh, well, this is quite interesting. Uh, Nicole says that there was six members in the boy band, the Jacksons. Tanya says there was five. I say there's five. Uh, you say there's five. And, oh, Nicole just changed it to five. Okay, so we're all rolling with five. Let's see if this was the correct answer. Oh, seven? How was there seven? I'm just kidding. There was actually oh, awesome. <laughs> I'm supposed to be like, what? <laughs> yeah. I thought that would be kind of funny for a moment. Okay, Westlife. Swear it again. Remember the boy band Westlife? Okay, that band, I don't know. So I, I, I don't, I wouldn't even know. I, I, that'd be a guess. Okay, guess, because I'm guessing too, because I don't really know them either. Um, Westlife. Uh, how many people would be like, I don't know. If I go for the formula, I'll go for the same. But I'm going to switch it up and go with four. Four. Okay. I'm going to say four as well. Um, my friend Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how are you? How's the little one? Tell Mike I say hi at home. Hello, so, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. So Sarah says that there was five members in the, uh, there were six members in the, in the last band we we're doing. Was that the Jacksons? Yeah. She said Jackson. there were six, she said there were six members but there was only five at a time. Now, is that a possibility? Who was the six? Because there was Tito, Marlon, Jermaine, Michael, Michael and there... the younger brother, the younger one. Um, yeah, and they were called the Jackson Five. Yeah, they were definitely called the Jackson Five. So Sarah, if you know more about that, definitely type it down, because I'm curious to know if there was a six player, but only five at a time. So it'd be like, it would be like that, you know, the, the, the ongoing joke that people run with and whatever, they'll be like, I was the sixth member of the Beatles. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so there's a sixth member of the Jackson 5 somewhere out there. I, I was the sixth member of the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm young. Um, so uh, Nicole says that there was four in Westlife. I think both you and me said there was four. Let's give it a shot. We were both wrong. It was five. All of us were wrong. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, what's that sound that they do on the prices, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need one of those, don't I? <laughs> I need sound effects. Uh, okay, so we're now on to the next one, which is Jonas Brothers. Jonas Brothers. I think Sarah might know this one, but I actually, I think you know what I'm thinking of is the Hanson, the Hanson Brothers, because Sarah and um, the rest of our crew. Um, were huge Hanson, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, Hanson brother, Hanson boys, Hanson brothers? Hanson. Or were they just called the Hansons? The Hansons, the Hansons, yeah. They're huge fans. And so like um, Sarah was uh, part of our, our, our dancing crew, part of our family. We used, to, we used to tour around do all these festivals and schools and stuff like that. And so like when Hanson was in town, I would know because the girls would all talk about it and they'd be like, we're gonna make signs and like, and they always go. They always go as a group. And uh, I know that uh, Kate eventually got to meet the boys. I think it was at, like at McDonald's after a show or something. Anyways, uh, they told me a story. I don't remember much. Uh, apparently, Randy replaced Jermaine in 1975, Sarah says. Randy. Oh, okay. Ra oh, yeah. That's the name I didn't say, Randy. Ooh, thanks, Sarah. Oh. Hey, hey, all right. Yes, okay. Yeah, Randy. Because then Jermaine went on his own. And then in, what did she say, 1975? 75, yeah, wow. Because wasn't then around that time, or was it 77, then he, Michael put out his Off the Wall or something like that, the Off the Wall album. Like when he started doing his own solo stuff. Nice. Well, guys, there's a question for you. Check it out. Yeah. Was it 1977 that uh, Michael Jackson did Off the Wall? You can type it in the comment area. 
So Nicole says the Jonas Brothers was only three people. What do you think? Yeah, it was three. Isn't one of the Jonas Brothers on uh, like movie star right now? And also uh, dating the girl that used to be on Quantico. Mm, that's a good question. Pa uh, what's her name? I'm gonna probably butcher her name, but it's like pa I don't know. I won't even try. It's uh, she's a like a East Indian girl, and they're dating right now. Like they are all over Instagram. And she was on a show called Quantico that came on on CTV. It was about like Quantico FBI type stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, but there's three Jonas Brothers. Yes, I agree with you. I think there's three. Nicole says there's three as well. Let's give it a shot. We are correct. We are correct. If anybody's joining us right now, we're hanging out. How many members in the boy band New Kids on the Block? We already did this one, but they're asking us again, just in case you forgot the last time, how many members are in the boy band New Kids on the Block, put it underneath the comment area. Okay, well, you know my answer already. <laughs> 27, right? Uh, no, it was 26. Oh, 26, got it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy um, doing these one-on-ones with you. Like, it just seems so natural and comfortable. Like, um, I think we're both good talk show hosts. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it got, because like I'm a, I'm a like you, I'm a people person and I enjoy just engagement and talking about whatever and especially stuff like this because we all know these things, but we kind of forget. So and it's part of our history being entertainers. So it's yeah. good to refresh ourselves on like stuff like this because it's part of our it's part of our uh, our our job, like, you know, to, to know these stuff. So it's it's uh, it's good. Yeah, man, I just enjoy that. And everybody else that's watching, I'm sorry, I haven't even said hi to everybody out there. Everybody out there, what's up? I can't really see who's out there because I just see Trevor right on my screen. Uh, so everybody else, what's up, what's up? And hopefully everybody's being safe, having a good time and uh, and uh, doing what I'm doing, which is eating wild wings. Mm. Oh, wow. Farmer's daughter, smells good. <laughs> that could have sound very pervy but um yeah, it is totally actually did. called it is actually called farmer's daughter though that's the actual flavor of it so just everybody calm down <laughs> <laughs> why is everyone so serious <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to figure out uh i already had it happening but i'm trying to figure out how to set up um where we pin uh stop video pin unpin i'm trying to set it up so like whenever you speak it goes to you and then whenever I speak it goes to me oh okay yeah you, you'd you have to show me that because I don't know how to do that yeah I had it going but now I, I took it off so I'm going to try it again see if this works and now I'll stop talking and you say something hello everybody how you doing my name is Shaw Claire and um and uh I'm wearing flannel pajama pants right now are you really <laughs> dude <laughs> nice <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm locked down. I'm in the, I'm in, I'm in the hotel. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm as comfortable as I can be. <laughs> you got the hotel, motel, holiday, in say what? Uh, who, who sang that song again? What was his name? Was, he, was and, he had, and the song was with, I think it was with Snoop and Ludacris. Was it Kenny. Oh, okay. You're thinking of uh, Cassidy with that one. Um, I think it's going to sound to my hotel. It's something that is something that is funny. That was Chingy and R. Kelly, but uh, Holiday Inn. Oh, sorry, that was, um, yeah, I think it was Chingy and R. Kelly. I don't know. But the uh, one you were singing is Chingy, Ludacris, and Snoop Dogg. Nice. I'm about to take it to the Holiday Inn. To something, something, and it kept going from there. Yeah. Okay, so we just did the New Kids on the Block. We said it was five. Uh, all for one. We did all for one, which... Uh... Which, what was, did we say four for all for one? Yeah, because then you played I Swear. But I, it's four, I, I believe it's four. Yeah, I think it's four as well. All for one, it's in the word, it's in the word, all for one. <laughs> yeah, I, we got it, it's four. For anyone joining us out right now, if you want to play, we're playing a little game, it's called What's the Name, or uh, How Many Artists Are in This Boy Band. We're on LFO, we did this one earlier, and I totally forgot what it was. I think it was four. And uh, hey, Aton. And hey, Nicole. And Nicole says, hi, Shaw Claire. Hi, Nicole. How are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I think Nicole was, uh, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I know she came on our Zoom party at least once. 
She might have been on our birthday Zoom party for anybody listening. Um, Shaw Claire and I share a birthday. Uh, well, the date, we share the date. Um, and so we celebrate. So the lockdown, before the lockdown came, we were talking about doing a party in Toronto. The lockdown came in and it just didn't work out. Um, and I mean, yeah, it didn't work out for other reasons as well, but we decided to do this online Zoom party. We did it and uh, it was you and me and we had a blast. Uh, and Maximilian joined us at one point for a couple of seconds, but he's out in, uh, I think Chicago and they had a storm or something like that. So, mm -hmm. um, but, but here we are. Hey, Shock, quick question. Yeah. Um, so when I was talking to Max, like privately uh, on the phone or, or FaceTiming, he was saying that um, there's some project coming up and that your name popped up saying that it looked like you were going to be on the project with Maximilian. Did you hear anything about that yet? Or, or, or can you talk about that? Or is that a private thing? Um, was it like a, an album project or something like that? I don't remember what he was saying it was. Uh, I, know, I know I'm like right now, like between November and even till I think uh, tomorrow I'm recording, like I've been recording with tons of people recently. And uh, I just got this new song out called Guan Get It with uh, Matt Yu and Sito from, uh, so he's from El Paso. Uh, Sito is from Cuba, but lives in uh, Miami. And then I'm here. So that just came out. So everybody watching, you can find it on my page. You can find it on YouTube. It's called Guan Get It. It's doing really good right now. Um, and then I just did, um, I just connected with this guy. His name is Count Classy. He's actually, I, I believe it's Tone Loke's nephew. And uh, I was like, so he just did this one called Good Vibes. That's coming out next month. So there's a lot of songs that are coming out, including my album that I did with Classified that's coming out as well. So maybe there's something that might be on a project or something like that. But as I know right now, I'm not totally aware, but I wouldn't say it wouldn't be happening because there's tons of music coming out right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, there's a song called um, Feel the Night with Why Not, which is kind of clever the way he did his name because it's actually Tony spelled backwards. So it's Why Not. Ah, oh, nice. And so, you know, so there's like, songs and songs and songs that are coming out, including my own. Uh, so that could possibly be something, but I'm just not totally aware of it right now. Nice. Um, I'm just getting a call. I just have to tell her I can't talk right now. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the way you told her. Yes. Oh, decline. Decline. I can't talk right now. So I, it comes up on my message thing. It goes, tell her, tell them you can't talk right now, blah, blah, blah. blah. It's an old, it's an old friend from years ago. And, um, She's just, she just checks in on me once in a while and I check on her once in a while. It's just like, hey, are you alive? Is everything good? You know, you got to do that with your friends, right? Especially during this time, folks. Absolutely. And make sure everybody out there do that to uh, check in on your friends and family and uh, make sure that they're good and help yeah. them out uh, whenever you can. Yeah, it's a really weird time. It's like um, when this kind of hit, it was very confusing for a lot of people. And I know a lot of people went under a lot of stress because they felt like they, felt, <laughs> they lost their freedom, right? And uh, it's very easy to like be stressed out during this time and, and, and everybody's trying to find their balance. Like what is the balance of like making me feel normal again? So you got to get back into a whole new routine of, you know, changing the way your day works because your regular routine was wake up at seven, go have a shower, mm -hmm. get ready, go to work, you know, and then, uh, you know, and then you come home and you, whatever. Right. So yeah. Well, you know what? It, I think it. I think it kind of hit home because even as I look up right here, like right in front of me, there's this. I don't know the, whatever. There's this big TV screen, and for some reason, I have it on CNN, um, and it's oh, on. I, and I think that, that uh, yeah, <laughs> I know everybody hates it because I'm a political junkie in my own right. Although I would never ever be able to run for any type of office because they'll bring up my past, and all of a sudden. You know, I'm I'm caught up in some scandal, and someone's yeah. gonna say I, I scratched a car when I was 16 or something like that. Yeah. But uh, I think that everything kind of came to a head um, when you started looking at it, and I look, and it's like, you know, like how many deaths, like when when the deaths started rising, because I think at first you're like, okay, we had the swine flu and H1N1, and 
this thing and that thing. And, you know, it, it was whatever. It was still important and big to um, other people that got it, especially for anybody that has underlying um, uh, medical conditions, right? Yeah. But once it started going up, like I'm looking at the screen and it's like, you know, 40,000 people just over here, almost 2.2 million people infected. And and I think that's where it really started saving. And like, you can't even go, like I have to, like I said, I had to order, skip the dishes. Cause you go and you stand too close to somebody, they turn around and look at you be like, yo bro, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> separation, separation, like get away. You yeah. can't even cough. Like even if you just had a regular cough, like if you just wanted to be like, uh, like just because people Clear cough throat, naturally right? yeah yeah you do that oh Clear my throat. gosh they're pulling the fire alarm holding you down with <laughs> no, right <laughs> you know spring spring uh is purell all over the place and it's like you know i just i had a frog in my throat i just wanted to clear it i'm not sick i don't have a fever but but i think once the reality set in and people were like it, and it got to this point and uh, it's uh, weird. And I think that this is going to be a situation where it almost will possibly change the way people live their life from now on for a bit. Oh, it's definitely going to, right? And, and sorry, when I said, um, when you said CNN and I was like, oh, wow, whatever, right? The only reason I said that is because um, when I have TV on like a program like that, where it's constantly telling you about what's going on in the world, like. I just don't want that stress of like worry. And that's why, I don't, that's why I'm not watching it right now. Anyone can watch it, please educate yourself. But for me, I know what's going on and I just don't want, I don't want any more stress. And I'm like, I found my balance now and yeah. I'm trying to keep it going without having to worry too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's just me. Like it literally, cause I'll watch, um, Cause I have like the Netflix and whatever on my laptop. So I'm like sitting down, I put in these headphones. I'm a sucker for losing my headphones. And I always try to buy the best ones. Cause I like the bass, like, you know, you get the beats by Dre or something like that, but I always lose my headphones, Yeah. but I'll watch, I'll watch um, whatever I'm watching on my uh, laptop with my headphones. In. And really all I do is look up. It's like me having CP24 on. I just look up and be like, Oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. And then I look back and I'm back in my laptop and watching uh, whatever I was watching in the first place. Yeah. Well, it's, it's good to have a couple of multiple things going on, right? Some CNN, yeah, just know what music in the background. Yeah, you know, music, news, um, and then just even like ridiculousness just running in there so I could watch people hurt themselves and feel better about myself that <laughs> I actually did the same thing too. <laughs> Is that the YouTube stuff? Is that what you're talking about? The comedy YouTube stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I just, whatever. I just watch everything. I just keep my eye on it. I keep my head on a swivel and just like to look at things that are going on. Yeah. Well, that totally makes sense. Hey, do you yeah. want to do, you want to do another game, but we'll do a different one this time. So instead of, um, instead of this boy band thing, hold on a second, we're going to switch it up and we'll, we'll try something else. Okay. Um, so like, we're still, we're still kind of like hanging out. We're talking about life and all that but if we have another game in the background because i want people to be engaged too right and so it's kind of fun because people like listening but they don't always like commenting so you know it's kind of fun to have fun games going in the background to keep them occupied while they're listening and enjoying they can also they can participate they can participate okay we're going to do pop acts, sharing names. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, okay. I, may, I may not do so well on this one because <laughs> I get bad on names sometimes. Well, this one's, an, this one's an easy one. I think you're going to get this. For anybody at home, just fill in the blank. Which name is missing that these famous musicians or bands have in common? Spice babies, spice ladies, spice women, spice girls. Oh, okay. That's easy. Girls. Cause I used to have a, I used to have a crush on, uh, is it Mel B? Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Like I was just like, who in the world is this girl and why does she live so far? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, so Mel B was scary, scary, scary spice, right? Is that right? Yes. Yeah, scary spice. That's right. Yeah. If, if the, the right one, but yeah, it was scary spice. Um, I was a big fan of sporty spice. I thought she was cute. That was like the athletic girl, right? 
Yeah, but that's that's just my type. I like athletic women, and although I did enjoy, you know, Scary Spice, I enjoyed all of them. Who could not enjoy the Spice Girls? They were fun, oh, yeah. energetic. Then they have a movie, Spice Up yeah, Your Spi- Life or something. Spice, Spice, Spice World. World. Spice World. Yeah. Yeah, but everybody for some reason they ended up really liking uh, Posh. Oh yeah, Posh. What's her Victoria Beckham or whatever? She's married to the Beckham guy, the soccer player. Yes, yes. So everybody, but yeah, you like sporty, and I was completely into giving me. A, oh, what was the song that they had? They had this really cool slow song where they were floating in a rocket or something like that. And uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, Mel B. It was like a what? I don't know. Look it up, and if anybody knows out there, let me know. It was like a slow song. It was probably on their second or third album, and they were sitting in a floating car um so if you know help me find out what that song is because i want to look it up again and go and check it out it was like a nice really good nice slow song that i like from them was that that one that was like um something forever i'll be there something like that um maybe maybe yeah maybe maybe uh oh wait was it i must get which no that's uh pussycat dolls i'm thinking um the song that I'm, I thought was the Spice Girls was the Pussycat yeah. Dolls. Um, I must get with you, stick with you forever. I got an inner tongue and I must get with you. So, but then there was a different Spice Girls song. Yeah. Pussycat Dolls were dope too. I, I like them. They, they were, yeah. And Girlicious was good too. I think they were developed by the same people as Pussycat Dolls. Yeah, there, there's always someone, you know, like New Kids on the Block, New Edition. Yeah. And I believe uh, and I believe Backstreet Boys were all brought up by Maurice Starr. Ooh. That brought in New Edition, then they brought in New Kids of the Block, and then they brought in, I believe it was either Backstreet Boys or or uh, or NSYNC. I forget which one. But yeah, but all these bands, it's one guy sitting there and be like, you got the look, you got the look, you sound good, you sound good. Let's smush you all together and make this band and we'll get some producers and make you a star so it's probably the same people put them all together totally um so nicole says forever ever is the song you're talking about but i was just going to touch base about that about that story you were talking about about you know this one person's making all these boy bands so in sync backstreet boys and a bunch of other bands were produced by the exact same guy who ended Mm -hmm. up getting sued and then he was put in jail he got sued by the boy bands to because they were trying to get out of their contract because they were only making this amount of money when they were doing this amount of work. Mm-hmm. Um, but Is it Pearlman, the, something Pearlman? Pearlman, yes, Pearlman. And, yeah. But the, the thing was, is that he basically, he gave them a home, he gave them food, he, gave, he gave, made sure that they were taken care of as he was building them. So that's why they didn't make as much money, right? And I totally understand that. But... You know, at the same time. Anyways, he ended up. The story I heard was he ended up dying in jail. Oh, did he? For real? I didn't. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that 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 happened. Um, but I do know the guy that you're talking about because I remember hearing about it. And then that's something that's cool too, is because like you see, and like I get it. Like you know, like if you're putting all this investment into these, you know, these groups and artists and stuff like that, and you're putting them up and whatever. And that used to be the thing. They would get you a house, and the whole band would live together, and a hollywood hill somewhere and do whatever and do something but then the only thing and coming on the artist side of things and then also having a record company on 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 my end as well so getting how much it costs to actually do records but then being an artist somehow some way there's got to be a happy balance where these artists can't be like making you or the record company a hundred million dollars and they're trying to split 500,000 between five people. Yeah. You know, like there's got, like something needs to work out better, whatever that situation would be. And uh, yeah, and then that's why whatever. Look at what's happening to Taylor Swift now where she's trying to get back her old masters and she can't even get them and she's having a problem doing that right now. So it's well, a weird dynamic. That's why there's a lot of independent artists right now. Like they just do it themselves. It costs a lot for them to start it up. But they're like, you know, like I remember when I was signed to Virgin, you know what? I they used to tell me all the time. They'd be like, uh, if somebody used their corporate card to buy pens from 
uh, Grand and Hustle or whatever that place is called, uh, whatever that store used to be called or Home Hardware or something like that. Yeah. It doesn't go under Shaw Claire. It goes under account 1.11567, pencil. <laughs> like they just yeah. mark it up. Lunch, okay, under that account. This, under that account. Taxi, under that account. So this should be something that helps out. It should work better. But um, I don't know. That's a that's a, a different discussion to have. Yeah, hundred percent. And so, so we got spice. So we got Spice Girls so far. So we got the Spice Girl one right. Like everybody should know that one. If you don't, yeah. Trevor is going to get mad at you. And um, and uh, I don't know. And if you don't know, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for that, uh, that brief um, pause of me not saying anything. I was actually typing something into our Facebook page, so it, um, it, so it made sense about what we were doing. Um, okay. okay, so the game we were playing is uh, um, fill in the gap. And so we said girl for the last one, Spice Girls. Here comes the next one. Anyone hanging out with us? We're playing a little game right now. Which name is missing that these famous musicians or bands have in common? So this one says Sean Blank Trio. So is it Sean Lewis trio? Is it Sean Paul trio? Is it Sean Connery trio? Or is it Sean Kingston trio? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I don't get the trio because there is a Sean Paul, there is a Sean Kingston. Yeah. I actually don't know what, because I don't know the trio. I've never actually heard trio at the end of a Sean name. So Me neither. You want to just take not, a guess on this one? Uh, it wouldn't be Sean Paul. What were the other ones? Sean Paul. Get busy. Sean. Get down. <laughs> I love Sean Paul. Just give me I, the I, light. Yeah. What were the three? Sean Paul, Sean Kingston, and Sean Connery. I'm going to go with Kingston. I don't know. I really don't know this one. We're doing it. It is. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> you got it right. Okay, here comes the next one. Which name is missing that these famous musicians bands have in common? Blood, sweat, and uh for beers. Blood, sweat, and oh, beers. Oh, I got it. Okay. Blood, sweat, and for fears. So is it joy, anger, pain, or tears? Sweat. So blood, sweat and joy for fears, sweat, blood, sweat, and <laughs> tears for fears, blood, sweat, anger for fears, blood, sweat, and pain for fears. I'm gonna say tears, because blood, sweat, and tears, tears for fear. Yeah. yeah, and tears for fears. Didn't they have that song called Shout, Shout, Let It All Out? <laughs> Yeah. dude you should oh that would be a great one so it's like shout shout let it on out these are the things and i'm happy you come on and then you come on you're like yo was it my number now <laughs> right yeah you just do like shout 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 let it on out these are the things and i don't know that's we got it we that would be awesome like to remake some of those old songs you just play the main part and then you rap the rest of it but you don't use their words but yeah change yeah that. what i'm talking about no, I hear that. Uh, but yeah, I'll say tears because there's what else is there? Blood, sweat, and what? Like it's got to be blood, sweat, and tears for you know, like that's that's what I know the saying usually is. Yep, and and you're right. It was tears. Here comes the next one. Mungo. Space Lee Lewis. Okay, so I think the first word, and then the second word, they go they go together, and then the second word and the third word goes together. So Mungo and Matt, Mungo and Jerry. Mungo and Danny, Mungo and Lewis. And then it's Lee Lewis. So it'd be Matt Lee Lewis, Jerry Lee Lewis, Danny Lee Lewis, Lewis Lee Lewis. So it's- I, I don't know that one. That I don't know. I, I uh, Mungo, isn't that the guy who used to have a little bit of hot sauce in my life? A little bit of- Ooh. Uh, wasn't that that guy? Oh, no, that's Mumbo. This is Mungo with- oh. <laughs> But I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Well, you can't see it on the screen, right? So it might sound like I'm saying it too. But it's Mungo, I and I don't know who Mungo is. But I'm gonna, yeah. say, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna say Jerry, like Jerry Lee Lewis and Mungo Jerry. Uh, I'll, I'll do Jerry. I'll do Jerry. That one I, I, I don't really know. That one I don't have a, yeah, I don't have an upper hand on that one. 
Well, we got it correct. It was Jerry. Oh, did we really? Yeah. Shoot, we should be on Jeopardy. You know how much money we win right now? I know, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, so this one is Olivia Newton. John. I'm going to go with John as well because the next word is John Legend. So it could be, so it's Olivia Newton, then space, and then space uh, legend. So legend. I think it's I think it's John too. So we're yeah, gonna John. Olivia Newton, John. What was it? Let's get physical, physical. physical. Uh -huh. yeah, you got it. And she was also the main singer for Greece. That's right. Summer. That's love. right. Had me a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember. I remember that when. Uh, yeah. Her and John Travolta. Yes. So we got that one right. We got that one right. So this next one is our period space Clarkson. Is it Roland Clarkson? Is it Kelly Clarkson? Is it French Clarkson? Is it Prince Clarkson? Kelly, I'm going to say. I'm going to say Kelly too. Let's give it a shot. Remember folks, if you're at home, you're welcome to put the answer in the commentary. We want you to play. Come and join us. And we're right. It is Kelly Clarkson. And the crowd oh my gosh. Wild. We're doing so well right now. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Um, Bing space stills nash and young so is it crawford is it charles is it clemens or is it crosby crosby Bing, crosby yeah uh, Bing crosby Bing, yeah i i agree with you we're going crosby are we correct yes da, 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 da. <laughs> we're on to the next one right now it's beach space town gang is that boys beach boys uh boys town gang or is it crazy bad or ghost I'm going to say boys. Yeah, it got to be boys. That's, that's the most popular, you know, take it down to Kuko, Baruba, Jamaica, come and Ooh, pretty mama. Yeah, yeah. got to be Beach Boys, I think. Nice. I did. They do have a lot of great songs. Eh? I love their songs. Yeah. Uh, good, 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 good vibrations. Yeah, good vibrations. Okay. Those are all like, those are all like crazy um, undercover weed songs. Oh, are they? Well, like, <laughs> yeah. like, I guess they would call them hippie back in the day, like, you know, like be beach bums and stuff like that, you know, like they were all on the beach with nothing to do with the surfboard and enjoying all that stuff. So true. You got that. Yeah, that totally <laughs> makes sense. So here's the next one. Ugly kid, fill in the gap. And then the next word is cocker. So it has to be the same word for ugly kid uh, as it is for cocker. So we got Cuddy, Rock, Sam and Joe. And I'm thinking ugly kid Joe and then Joe Cocker. So maybe the word Joe. Yeah, because Joe Cock was it Cocker or Cochran? Joe Cocker. The, like uh what, what, um sorry, I'm thinking of the name because I'm just trying to think if it's Joe, just because <laughs> the life is a highway. Was that Joe Cocker? No, that was Cochran. So Joe Cocker was I get by with a little help from my friends. Ooh, I get high with a little help from my friends. Okay, <laughs> and it's 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 definitely uh Joe. Yeah. Do you need anybody? We got it right. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> We're killing this. Oh, bony space. And then the next word is people. So I'm going to say it says Q, S, T, or M. Bony M, M people. Bony, bony M. M. Bony M. Bony M. We're going Bony M. What about you guys at home? Do you think it should be Q, S, M, or T? Put it in the comment area. We're going to check M right now. We are correct. Da, 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 uh -huh. da. Jeez, we should be doing this. It, it works better than these uh, fraud lottery tickets that I lost on the other day. <laughs> doing better than that. <laughs> I, I get nervous when I buy those tickets, so I don't even buy them anymore because my nerves are just like, ah. Especially yeah. when I win, right? Then when you win, you're like, oh, my God, I got to try again. Yeah, I don't even, you know, it's it's like so random. I just saw 70 million in the window and I was just like, um, like I never think I'm going to win and I never do win. So I just, whoever, however it helps support some type of charity, I just, <laughs> there's 10 bucks gone for me right there and I never win anything. I, I hear you. And can I just tell you that, um, oh shit, I was, oh, so I'm going to tell you uh, that we just got 10 out of 10 on that last one. Oh, really? We did, huh? Yeah, yeah, we uh, killed it. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> okay, so this one is a little bit different than the last game. This one is totally different, but I think it's going to be very interesting. Um, which pop stars died like this in their given year? 
which pop stars died like this in their given year? So anybody mm -hmm. at home, if you know the answer, type it in. Cardiac arrest in 2009. Was it George Harrison? Was it Patrick Swayze? Was it Luther Vandross? Or was it Michael Jackson? Cardiac arrest in 2009. Okay, so it wasn't Michael Jackson. Why not? Um, Why not? Because he died because of like a, the overdose from the doctor. Yeah, it was definitely an overdose, but I wonder if it was a heart attack from the overdose. Who was the other name? Um, Luther Vandross. Mm. Patrick Swayze. We know Patrick Swayze died of cancer. Yeah, he died from cancer. It could have. I think Luther Vandross died before 2009, though. I'm not sure. Oh, that's a tough one. Folks at home, we need your help on this one. So, okay, so we know it's not Patrick Swayze. We're on the fence about Michael Jackson. It could either be Luther Vandross. And who's the other name? George Harrison from the Beatles. He died way before 2009. I thought so too, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go with uh, wait. Luther Vandross. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's a tough one. I'm going to see if anybody typed anything in to see if they know. <laughs> but let's hope that they're not like looking it up too, right? Because they might be looking it up and... They're cheating. They're cheating. They're, they're, they're Google searching right now. <laughs> yeah, cheating, guys. Oh, they're still playing. Oh, awesome. Everyone is playing with us. Perfect. Uh, thanks, Nicole, for playing with us. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Hey, Sarah, good to see you again. Uh, Tara, welcome to the party. Teresa Scott. Hello, Teresa Scott. Teresa Scott works, works with us, works with our team. And um, so every time she comes on during the show and I don't say hi to her, she messages me and she goes, why didn't you say hi to me? <laughs> uh, so I like, uh, I always try to make friends out of my friends. Hi, Teresa. Hello, Teresa. How you doing? <laughs> and Grace just joined us. Hi, Grace. Um, so Nicole thinks it's Michael Jackson. But that's the only Did he die from a heart attack or did he? <sighs> well, I think that the pills gave him a hard time but i'm not 100 sure though that's the thing this is a tough one folks what do you guys think do you guys think it's luther vandross george harrison or michael jackson died of a cardiac arrest in 2009 don't look it up just give us an answer i'm going with luther luther i'll join you on that adventure and nobody else is writing anything so we're going to try luther in three two oh it was michael jackson no uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay okay so that's why so that was the reason that he died okay like because you know you just think okay it was the whatever that pill that um that he was given that he shouldn't have had but uh, i guess it was yeah. that brought on the cardiac arrest okay oh yeah definitely um he was really skinny too right like he he wasn't man i don't know man i wasn't there i just whatever the media shows me all right guys it was michael jackson <laughs> phil what's up buddy welcome to the party so who had a drug overdose in 1977 and died? Was it Elvis Presley, Sid Vicious, Brian Jones, or John Denver? I think it was Elvis Presley, 1977. Yeah, I would go with, uh, I'd go with Elvis. i go with Elvis too. What do you guys think at home? Who died of a drug overdose in 1977? Was it Elvis Presley, Sid Vicious, John Denver, or Brian Jones? John Denver, I haven't heard his name in a long time. Wow. They, they used to have those time, like, you know, when they used to sell you the CDs, like Columbia House or something like that, and they would just have, like, get all of your classic hits, and it would be, like, they would have the songs, like, uh, going up the screen and play them and whatever. I remember seeing all those John Denver commercials back in the day. Oh, totally. What Do you remember any John Denver songs? Um, if somebody played it to me, I may not have known it was him, but I do know about John Denver. And I probably have and probably do. It's just not at the top of my head at the moment. Yeah, same with me. Now, I don't think he did. Uh, he did. Did you do Rhinestone Cowboy? I like a rhinestone. <laughs> no, I don't think No, so. wasn't that uh, with the black? That wasn't Johnny. No, it wasn't Johnny Cash. Um, no, but he definitely he didn't do that. But if you look up a John Dever song, I bet you you've heard it before. You know it for sure. Okay, <laughs> so we're both going with Alvis, right? Yeah. Okay, so Nicole and Diane both said Alvis. All right, guys, four people said Alvis. Let's see if we are correct. We are correct. Burr, 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 burr. Championship right. stuff, championship stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we're both going to get this one correct. Plane crash in 2001. I was talking about this artist. Um, she was, uh, her band was on tour. 
and uh, they had a video on her, like a morning video, right? And this was a plane crash in 2001. Was it John Denver? Was it Alea? Was it Luther Vandross? Or was it Lisa Left Eye Lopez from TLC? It was, it was um, Alea because uh, Left Eye died in a car crash. What? Oh, I am terrible. I thought it was a plane crash. Yeah, no, she crashed her car. Um, yeah. And that she died, but Aaliyah died because I think they overpacked her plane, like too much weight, and it crashed while she was leaving Bahamas or some type of island to go back to, uh, to whatever. Because I remember she was supposed to be on 106 in Park the next day or that day, and then they just found out that her plane crashed and she died. Her assistant and I think four to seven other people that were ever on the plane all died on that plane. So I'm going rest in peace to Aaliyah, but I'm going with Aaliyah. I'm going to go with Aaliyah as well, only because you uh, educated me and now it only makes sense. And Nicole <laughs> says Aaliyah as well in three, two, one. Yes. Good <laughs> work, guys. I'm so glad that we actually took the time to like talk about it before we jumped into it. because <laughs> I would have got it wrong for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Shot by president of fan club in 1995. Shot by fan, shot by the president of the fan club in 1995. Was it Notorious B.I.G.? We know that wasn't. That yeah. They don't even know. They don't even know who did that yet, or or whatever. That hasn't come up. But yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Alea, we know it wasn't her. Uh, and Lisa Left Eye Lopez, we know it wasn't her. So there's only one person left. And I remember watching the documentary about her, Selena. Selena. Yeah, it yeah. was Selena. It was. It Selena. was. Yeah, because J Lo was it J Lo or was it Shakira that played her in the movie, the Selena movie? Oh, that's a good question. I, I don't remember. I think you're right. I think it might have been J Lo. Yeah, there I remember when because she was like a huge, like a huge, huge star down um, in uh, in uh, Mexico and um, on that genre of music. And yeah, I remember. I think it wasn't even like the president. It was like her maid or some type of housekeeper, but they were the head of her, um, they were the head of her uh, fan club, yeah. That's wild. Yeah, and they shot her, they, I forgot how, but they shot her, like it's just like crazy fan stuff, but uh, yeah, that, that happened. That is crazy fan stuff. Phil said it was Selena as well. Sarah said J-Lo played her, she thinks she played her, and Phil says J-Lo played her as well in Selena. Um, there was a couple other people who had passed away from, um, getting shot after their show. There was this young lady who was up and coming a few years ago. She was a big star on YouTube. And I think she was on American Idol and she got shot at one of her shows as she was like, like she was getting, she was getting a lot of fans very quickly. And I think it was this guy that was in love with her and he was like a big fan. I don't remember her name, but she was, I think she was 21 or 23. Um, mm. I don't know why I brought it up just because it's similar, but okay, we're on to the next one. Uh, let's see if we're correct. We are correct at Selena. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> All right. Self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Wow. We're getting deep and dark here. <laughs> I know. Holy <laughs> cow. Jeez, what are we it's only Tuesday. <laughs> you know, it's funny because we've got five more onlookers watching this game than we did the last one. So I think we're doing all right. Um, guys, do you think it was Selena, Kurt Cobain, John Denver, or Robert Palmer? I think Robert Palmer's still alive, isn't he? Uh, I'm not sure, but why does John Denver keep coming up? Like, what is going on? <laughs> what's going on with John Denver? Well, you uh, definitely, know it, definitely <laughs> it's Kurt Cobain. Well, you know, at one point, I agree with you. I think it's Kurt Cobain. Who do you guys think? Bill says it's Cobain as well. You know, at one point, if John Denver is actually dead, at one point, John Denver's thing is going to come up here and we're going to be like we know it's not john denner we've already seen him with other things and it'll be him so <laughs> yeah uh, what's up trevor welcome to the party if anyone who's joining us out there right now we're playing a little game right now tell us how the celebrity passed away we are joined by rap hip-hop star uh, i don't know if i'm supposed to say rap hip-hop star shock Claire, and uh he's in the house my name is trevor from the trevor show and we're hanging out with all you guys at home thank you for joining us Hey, Atlanta. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Justin. Welcome to the party. So the question is, who died? Which superstar pop star died by a self-inflected gunshot wound to the head in 1994? 
We're saying it's Kurt Cobain. What do you guys think? Definitely Cobain. Cobain? And Teen Spirit. Yep, Nicole says Cobain. Phil says Cobain. We're going with Cobain in three, two. We got it. Hey, crowd goes wild. <laughs> We're on to the next one. Heroin overdose in 1970. Who oh, had a heroin gosh. overdose? Was it Marvin Gaye? Was it John Lennon? Was it Janis Joplin? Was it uh, Jim Crow? Croak? Croak? Jim Croak? C R O C E. Croak. I, don't I, even won't, know I won't know. Um, it definitely wasn't a two. Name the, the, the other three again. Heroin overdose. Uh, we know John Lennon was shot. Shot, yeah. So it's not him. I don't think Marvin Gaye died from a heroin overdose. No, Marvin Gaye, I believe, was killed by his dad. What? Yeah. Oh my uh, god. His dad killed him. Um, yeah, look that up. But I'm hey. not sure who John Crow or the other. I'm gonna go with Joplin. Jo but I think she's. But I think she was around longer than the '70s. But I don't know. And and. Oh yeah. Well, so here's, uh, so Maximilian just joined us. He's online watching us on uh, Facebook right now. What's up, um, Max? What's up, Max? I'm here with Shock right now and anyone else who's watching. So we're playing a game right now. It's called, How Did That Pop Star Die? So heroin overdose in 1970. Was it John Lennon? Was it Marvin Gaye? Was it Janis Joplin? Or was it Jim Croak? Type your answer in, guys. So Mar uh, Maximilian, Maxi says, what's up, Trev? Big up. Um, and I'm here with Shock too. I don't know if you heard that. Say hi to Shock, Max. Max, say hi to back. And what's forth. up? What's up, Maximilian? How you doing, brother? Should we invite Max on with us right now? Sure, if he wants to play. Yeah. Hey, he says, "Hey, bro. Uh, hey, Max. Do you want to join us? We'll uh, we'll set you up on Zoom with us. It'll be the three of us. We'll wait for him to answer. Um, now, uh, Max. For anyone who doesn't know who Maximilian is, for people who do know who Maximilian is, Maximilian." Uh, had a had a bunch of hit songs, but one of them was Sexual Healing, which was originally done by Marvin Gaye. And we're talking about Marvin Gaye right now, so it's kind of it's kind of interesting that Maximilian just jumped up onto Facebook with us at this time. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I know, eh? That's crazy. <laughs> That's totally weird. Oh, so Maximilian just said, hey, Shaw Claire, and then exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> Wear it up, bro. <laughs> oh. I'm going to go on and I'm going to invite him. If he wants to join us, then cool. If he doesn't want to join us, then that's cool too. Um, you never know what people are up to at this time. And, you know, I don't know what, if he set up or anything, but I'm going to send him an invite. If he wants to join us, cool. And we'll keep going. So guys, we need help though, because we don't know what the answer is. The question is who had a heroin overdose in 1970? Was it Janis Joplin, Jim Croak, Marvin Gaye, or John Legend? Put it in who you think. Diane says it's Janis Joplin. Nicole says Janis Joplin. Uh, Tony says Janis Joplin. Yeah. I think it was Janis Joplin for sure. Because I'm not sure who J the croak guy is. So I'm not like, you know, but I definitely know the Janis Joplin. So I think it was her. And if you're looking at 1970, I don't know. I wasn't alive then, but I do know there was heavy drug use back then. So uh, definitely. I could believe that <laughs> she so was a superstar. And so maybe she got into it a little bit. So we'll go with Janis Joplin. Everyone's saying it. I say Janis Joplin, yeah? Yeah. In three, two. We are right, folks. It is Janis Joplin. So Maximilian says, I'm in the shower, guys. Isn't that nice of him to message us while he's in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> um, he asked me to uh, give you his phone number, Shock, and for you to give him a call. Okay, so you can send it to me later on the message. I'll definitely do that. Hey, Maxi, is it the same number? I've been texting you uh, that we text back and forth. I messaged, I haven't messaged you on it for a while, so is it the same number? I'm sure it probably is. Um, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna write that one down. Okay, so car crash in 2002, folks. I do wanna join, but I'm not dressed. Well, Maxi, if you're not dressed, that might give us some better ratings. So if you want to <laughs> join us. <laughs> um, he's going to he's gonna run Jeremy the show right now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> if you want to join us later, Max, message us. We might be on for a while. Okay, so car crash 2002. Uh, you mentioned her earlier that she was in a car crash. Is it Lisa Left Eye Lopez from TLC? Left Eye. 
left eye was a Jen John Denver again. What's <laughs> up with John Denver? Huh? Was he had it, a lot of stuff happened to him, huh? I know, right? <laughs> was it? Uh, so Maximilian says it was the same number. Cool. I'll pass that on to you after the show. Uh, okay. Was it Luther Vandross or was it Jam Master J? Car crash 2002. What do you guys think at home? Was it Lisa Left Eye? Was it John Denver? Was it Luther Vandross? Was it Jam Master J? Nicole says she thinks it's Left Eye Lopez. It's definitely Left Eye. Left Eye. We're going to give everybody a couple seconds to decide if they think it was uh, Left Eye Lopez. Hey, um, Shock, can you yep. can you talk about TLC? Do you know about TLC? You know you know enough about them, right? Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about them while I go and get some water? Okay, yeah. Um, definitely TLC. I think at one time they were probably one of the biggest female uh, group bands uh, at the time. Um, they came and they were pretty aggressive in the thing because uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez would come out wearing glasses, but she would have a condom on the left side of her glasses. And she would be saying that she was promoting safe sex and all this stuff. And this is like going back in the early nineties where HIV was kind of like a thing. Well, it wasn't a thing, it was happening, um, but they were promoting whatever, but they all looked like they were like, they almost looked like they were 16 to 18 years old, but really they were like 25, 27 years old. And uh, everybody knows, you know, I ain't too proud to beg. And uh, what about your friends and uh, waterfalls and uh, scrubs and, oh, and then there's just countless amount of other songs. And then um, Left Eye went off to go and do, she had that one single, I think she did it with, um, you can't, oh, what was that? Girl, you know what's up. Girl, you know what's up. Donnell Jordan. That's who she sang, and that was really good. She came out on her own. I think that was the first time that she stopped wearing, because we, we were joking about this earlier, but we used to buy, like, pants that were, like, you know, seven sizes too big. And uh, TLC would be doing it. And in that video with Donnell jo Jones, if I'm saying it, I know it was Donnell something. I believe it was Donnell Jones. Um, that was one of the first times where she started wearing like fitted clothes. And for the average fan that used to always only see TLC wearing super huge baggy cross colored red, yellow, purple, green pants. And she was looking fitted. It was like, oh my gosh, like, geez, she, she looks good. Yeah. And she was talented too, so I don't want to just make it because of her looks, but she did look good, damn. She was and, cute, uh, yeah. Yeah, and you know, but she was the hardcore one because she was also, she was dating the football player from the Atlanta Falcons, and I believe his name was Andre Risen. I believe that was his name, so I uh, just double check the name. And they had a falling out, and she went and burnt his house down. What? Yeah, there's a there's some people in uh, like if you go, I forget who sang it, but they would talk about it. They would put it in like lyrics. It'd be like, "I burn your house down, like left eye or something like that." It was like a going joke because she burnt down this guy's house, like this mansion. He was like a huge Atlanta Falcons football player, and they were dating and whatever happened, she burnt his house. That's and great. Uh, yeah, and uh, TLC is still doing it. Rest in peace to uh, left eye. Uh, she left way too early, but. Um, she definitely had a real big impact on um, on a lot of the music that we were listening to growing up. Oh, nice. Somebody just said hi to you and they're saying your real name, Natasha Khan. She says, miss you buddy, been a long time. Hi, Natasha Khan. Um, been a long uh, minute, she actually said, sorry. It's been a long minute. It, it probably has been. I uh, hope you're doing well and staying safe. And uh, yeah, a pleasure. How you doing? See, now where you just went and had a water, let me go and get fill up my water. Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. Because so, now I'm finished. I've been drinking this thing for uh, whatever. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, and I'll get the next one going while you're doing that. Um, okay. So folks, if you're just joining us, we're hanging out. Oh, by the way, we said Lisa Left Eye. We're going to give it a shot. We are correct. Bow, 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 bow. Go get yourself some water. 
Hey guys, what's happening? It's Trevor from The Trevor Show, and I am joined today with Shock Claire, uh, hip hop star, and we're just hanging on out, and um, we're just getting a little bit of water and hanging out right now, and I had to get some socks on because I'm a little bit cold, but we're doing the podcast from, uh, well, for me, I'm out in Oshawa, he's out in Mississauga, and we're just hanging out, we're talking about music, and we're playing a little game today, it's called how did the pop star die? How did the pop star die? So the next one we're on right now is pancreatic cancer in 2009. Oh, these are, uh, that's terrible. Was it Jeff Healy? Jeff Healy, ooh, that's a tough one. Was it Patrick Swayze? Because I think both of them passed away from cancer. Was it Michael Jackson? We know Michael Jackson died of a heart attack from a drug overdose. Or was it Dan Fogelberg? I don't even know who that is. So if you guys know, type it into the comment area. Who died of pancreatic cancer in 2009? Was it Jeff Healy, Patrick Swayze, or Dan Fogelberg? Type it into the comment area. Don't look it up, though. Just give it a guess. Give it a guess. I'm going to say, ah, it's a tough one. I think in 2009, I'm going to say Jeff Healy. Because I think Patrick Swayze died earlier. I think Patrick Swayze died in... Um, in like a 2003 or 2000 or something like that. What do you guys think? Who was the star who passed away in 2009 with pancreatic cancer? Now, Jeff Healy is actually from Toronto. And um, if you don't know who Jeff Healy is, he was the, the blind guitar player singer. He eventually actually opened up a bar downtown Toronto on Queen Street at Queen and Bathurst I had been there at least one time, and that was kind of cool that a star who made it decides to open up a play, a bar for people to come down and hang out and stuff. And I think it was called Healy's, if I remember correctly. So uh, I think, Shockler, you're, you're rejoining us? All right. All right. Aqu Aquafina time. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the question. Um, pancreatic cancer in 2009. And you, you just did a plug there, uh, Shock, Aquafina. So Aquafina, yeah. if you got that free plug, if you heard it, please send us free water. Um, <laughs> pancreatic, <Yeah. laughs> pancreatic cancer in 2009. Was it Jeff Healy, Patrick Swayze, Michael Jackson, or Dan Fogelberg? Now, Patrick, Nicole, Nicole thinks Patrick it was Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Well, Jeff Healy and Patrick Swayze both died of cancer, right? But Jeff Healy died earlier than Patrick Swayze. And I remember going to his, I, I believe so, but I remember going to, he used to have this club in Toronto. Remember he used to have something on Bathurst Street, the Healy Club, Jeff Healy Club? Yeah, yeah. And it used to be like, and then Patrick Swayze, because in Roadhouse, like um, I'll try and say it like Peter Griffin does it, like Roadhouse. Um, remember they were performing, Jeff Healy was performing in Roadhouse where they, they were like, they had like a cage and people were like, like the place was so like reckless and rowdy that people were throwing bottles at like yeah. the fence while they were performing and stuff like that. And it was Jeff Healy and it, it was, was all. Yeah, I totally forgot about that part. Yeah, and it was always awesome because obviously we, we know he was blind, but he was able to play his, like he would play the guitar while it would lie down on his lap. Yes. And he would play it like storming it down, like, yeah, like that. And uh, and so, but I think he died before 2009, and I'm going to say it's Patrick Swayze. Ooh, that's a tough one because I thought Patrick Swayze died before Jeff Healy, and and this is a tough one. This is a, this is like a, a tough one. Um, Love Swayze Roadhouse was the best movie. Tony said. Okay, so we've got two people that say it was Patrick Swayze, so we're going to do Patrick Swayze because it only makes sense to go after the larger numbers of people that decide. So we're gonna give that one, a, let's see at three, two, one. It was Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I know this much about all this stuff. Like, I can't believe I'm getting it right like this. Like, I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> I love it. I think it's such, it's such an interesting game and such a great way to, see how our knowledge is. And you know what? We killed the last one. We got 10 out of 10 out of the, uh, the pop star thing. Mm -hmm. So let's see how, let's see if we're killing it in the, in the death zone. 
than the death zone. <laughs> Terrible. All right, the next one. Cancer in 1981. Was it John Lennon? Was it John Scott? Sorry, Bon Scott. Was it Bob Marley? Or was it Ian Curtis? John Scott was, uh, sorry, John Lennon was shot. Bob Marley did die of cancer, didn't he? That, uh, Bob Marley died of cancer. It was... I know he was shot years before he died and he survived. But... Maybe I'm thinking Peter Tosh. Uh, but this one, I don't know. I, I, you know what? Everybody out there, I need your help on this one because this one, I'm not sure. I know it definitely wasn't John Lennon. Yeah. So I'm was... sort of like on the above 50% range, it wasn't Bob Marley. And I don't really know the other two, unless it was John Denver. But I don't know <laughs> <laughs> the other two are. <laughs> they didn't, surprisingly, they didn't even put John Denver, Denver in this one. Yo, why are they hating on the Denver? Come on. <laughs> They'll get us on the next one. John Denver will be back. So what do you folks think at home? Do you think it's Bon Scott, Ian Curtis, or Bob Marley that passed away from a gunshot? Oh, sorry, from a cancer in 1981. Now, Nicole thinks it's John Lennon, but we all know that he- He was died. shot in front of his house. He was yeah, shot. He was shot. Yeah. He was shot. Uh, Alana thinks uh, it's uh, Marley. Mm. I- I think I can't really argue with that because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm actually, I'm stuck on this one. I'm stuck on this one. Yeah, that's a tough one. But since we've got two people saying Marley, we're going to give Marley a try. I hope this doesn't ruin our uh, back to back, you know, getting everything perfect. Hold they're going to they're, they're mess with our batting average. We're batting, we're batting pretty good right now. <laughs> batting amazing. I'm afraid to touch the button. Three, two, one. We're right. It's Bob Marley. Burr, 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 burr. Hey. Okay. Oh, look at all you guys out there. Yo, that's great. <laughs> Good work, everybody. Even Tony got it out there. Um, all right. So we are now on to the next one. And uh, oh, sorry. Hold on one second here. Um, the next one is I'm getting messages at the same time. So I just want to see who that was. Heart attack of 2003. Was it George Harris from the Beatles? Was it Robert, Robert Palmer? Was it Michael Jackson? Was it Jam Master J? Heart attack, 2003. Uh, definitely wasn't Jam Master J. He was shot. Oh, really, eh? Yeah, he was shot in a studio in New York. So we know, uh, we know Michael Jackson had a heart attack, but I don't remember what year that was. It was in 2003. Remember, he did his Yes, It Is or whatever that last tour he was going to do. That was like... Yeah around 10 or something like 9, 10, 12, one of them years. So okay. it wasn't that early. Who are the other two? George Harrison, Robert Palmer. Is Hard Robert to... Palmer dead? He's the one that's saying, simply it was he so fine. Don't yeah. know where all my money went. Yeah. Man, you know how many uh, bad dates I went on that that song came on? And I actually went because like one of the big things when I would, try and be like uh, in 2000 and try to be like the big suave dog, take yeah. the girls to the keg. <laughs> big money. And uh, well, yeah, and, and uh, take them to the keg. And then I would never hear from them again. And I was like, where did all my money go? Cause it's like, oh. you know, back then, like the keg, it was like, you know, whatever. It's still, it's, it's you know, it's, like, it's at least, you know, if you're having a good time, it's about, two bills for two people like if you're really like having you know those big keg size uh like yeah. those um whatever the the slushy drinks or whatever and stuff like that oh yeah oh yeah and then have yourself some lobster or a big steak oh yeah it all adds yeah there. you you at least think that you would get a kiss on the cheek they just walked out the car and said okay i'll talk to you later and i was like okay mm -hmm. and then i don't know all of a sudden they went poof and disappeared and turned into smoke that uh, that a magician would make, and <laughs> and that's Robert Palmer. So, but is Robert Palmer dead? I hope not. He had some good songs. Simply Irresistible was a good one. Now I got to see all these songs we're talking about. Like I got to go and look these songs back up. He had the girls with all their hair slicked back and red lipstick and red lipstick, and they all did that same like kind of move with the guitar and yes. Oh, that was some dope stuff. Oh, my gosh. Um, so was it Robert Palmer? And who's the other guy? Nicole, Nicole and Tony both say that it was George Harrison. From the um, 
Heart attack I think so. 2003. George I am. Her. Oh, okay. I was confusing it with Eric Clapton. Okay, it's uh, George Harrison. I say George Harrison. Beatles, yeah. So, guys at home, what do you think? Should we give it to George Harrison? We've got two people that said it was George Harrison that died in 2003. Not Robert Palmer, not Michael Jackson, not Jam Master Jay. So, Shock, I'm going to say George Harrison, since we've got two people saying George. I'm with them. Let's go. Let's hope that let's, uh, yo, we're a team. Let's make it happen. Three, two, one. Oh, it was Robert Palmer. What? what? He died? Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. Oh, we got eight out of 10 on that one. Uh, now I for sure need to go and get his catalog back because I liked all of his songs. I didn't know he passed away, actually. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. I didn't even know he died. Oh, me neither. For anybody who's joining us right now, we're playing a little game right now. I am joined with Shaw Claire and myself, Trevor. We're playing a game with you guys. So guys, put the answers in the comments. Um, how did these stars die? Who died by getting shot by a motel manager in 1964? Was it, oh my gosh. Was it Mama Cass Elliott? Was it Buddy Holly? Was it Karen Carpenter or Sam Cooke? Now, Buddy Holly died in an airplane crash, didn't he? I believe Dwayne Holly died in an airplane crash, yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, Sam Cooke. My mom used to play Sam Cooke a lot. Remember those old record players and they had the eight tracks in them, but they were like a full floor unit? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you would put, and you could put the record and it had that little L on the top and then it would automatically drop and it had like three speeds. It had speeds for 45s, speed for um, LPs, and then another... I think it was 76. I don't even know what record would be playing on that. But uh, it used to drop, and she used to play Sam Cooke and Pat Boone all the time. You so know, uh, it's, hmm. it's, it's funny that you just brought that back um, about the whole like one piece stereos that were like these long wooden units. So I'm not going to say the year, but um, my partner at the time, Terry Bellows, DJ Bam Bam, rest in peace, my brother. Um, he, he was a, such a handyman, right? And so, uh, he came across one of those one pieces and he took a saw, cut the speakers out, took out, <laughs> yeah, took out the record. And I think that was our first set of speakers we ever DJed with. And that was way back in the day. And then ever since then, we, we both worked at McDonald's and every penny we made went into like music and lights and we would have garage parties. My mom was awesome. She would say, I'd rather you be off the streets and be home with your friends. So every weekend she'd let us have a house party. Yeah. And yeah. We took over the garage and we, we put club TNT in fluorescent orange on the wall and we'd have black light above it. And then we had a strobe light and floodlights. And we would just have like 20 friends over every Friday, every Friday and Saturday. So That's during dope. Summer time. <laughs> oh man, it was dope. Back then, we nobody was really drinking or smoking it was a different you know like we were teens right we were like 15 16 yeah it was just good energy it was just the good energy end. and whatever the vibe that it was it was just like good that was just yeah. like yeah we're having a good time yeah we're dancing having conversation so that just reminded me of that so thanks for bringing up that memory that was nice well you and you remember too on those same units um i don't even know if they make them anymore but remember like because you had to open it up, right? Like, you had to open it up. Yeah. So that yeah. you would have, like, so I don't know, but my mom would have, like, like a doily with some arc. It was nice. So I'll call it archaic just because, I don't know, I can't find a better word for it. But, like, some type of vase, vase, whatever you want to call it, on type of a really fluffy doily. And every time you wanted to go and, um, and use the radio, the eight track, or the record player, yeah. you had to take everything off and it was always have like your pictures, like so your grandfather, your brother, this, that, all this. You had to take everything off of the top of this thing, yeah. lift it up, <laughs> prop it up with like a stick. So, cause the pe they would keep falling down. Like they didn't, for some reason, they didn't make them where you can open it and it would stay open. You had to actually prop it up and yeah. play the records. And then when hip hop started coming in, the thing was not like, you know how you have uh, slip mats and stuff like that on thing. You couldn't scratch and the needle wasn't good enough for it. So oh, it just bounce. It'll just bounce. Or you had to yeah. put the, or you had to put the penny or the dime on it. Oh my god, I totally remember <laughs> taping pennies on. Yes. 
<laughs> so that's uh yeah that's uh big up to everybody that remembers those full unit record all in one situations from back in the day oh good call yeah thank you so much for bringing that memory back too that was <laughs> and and i do you know for some reason i remember um my first set of uh, real turntables. I had a set of techniques. I had a set of uh, the technique. What were they called? Two thousand. With the red. Did they have the? Did they have the red light on the set? Yes. Like they weren't the twelve hundreds, but they had the red light. Oh no no no! They were twelve hundred. Sorry, they were twelve hundreds. Oh, okay. They had, they had the little red light uh, somewhere on the on the top there. I don't know, but I remember at some point putting a penny on top and taping it down too, because I was, I remembered it when I was a kid doing it with shitty record players, Yeah. <laughs> but then realized that I didn't need on, on the 1200 because the 1200 had its own weight at the back, right? That's right. And then I would go and I would meet, because I used to, like how you DJ, I used to DJ like all these basement parties. Like I would go and basement party DJ. And then um, I used to have to go and take my mom's speakers in my mom's car and yeah. put it in the trunk. And then it always sucked when you had to leave your gear overnight to pick it up in the morning and all this stuff and just leave it there. And uh, yeah, I just remember. And I used to go uh, King Turbo, King Turbo. I, when I was living King in Turbo. Malvern, they, yeah. Yeah, they had this record store right there in Malvern when I was living there. And I used to buy all my 45s from there. Like all, this is like Shaba days and oh man, Mad, Mad Cobra and all these guys back then. And uh, yeah, I used to go over there and buy all my records from King Turbo. Um, I forgot what the store was called, but it was there. Right? It was right at the plaza. And yep. uh, yeah, it was dope. So I just remember all of that stuff. So a nice, a nice flashback right there. Well, speaking of a nice flashback, we're going to play. Flex right now. <laughs> we did Flex. Get oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I haven't played this one in a long time. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Yes. Can't eat no sleep. <laughs> okay, out of all this water, give me one second while you're playing that. Piss you break. It. You got it, brother, do it up. Yeah, too much Aquafina, Aquafina, Pepsi. Oh yeah. Holler at us. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's not our sponsor for today. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sponsor. Don't mean didn't mean that. <laughs> it's okay. We don't we don't have a sponsor, but we are looking for a sponsor. So if anybody wants to sponsor the show, don't be shy to give us a holler up. <laughs> we'll take anything for free. Um, so for anybody who's joining us right now, we're playing a little game right now, and uh, it is tell us how these pop stars passed away. So this one is shot by a motel manager in 1964. We had a couple people that said that it was Sam Cook. Do you think it was Buddy Holly, Mama Cass Elliot, or Karen Carpenter, or Sam Cooke? A few people said it was Sam Cooke. What do you guys think back at home? And while we're waiting for our special guests to join us today, we're going to keep playing a little bit of Flex. I put my perfume. I could know it to get her in the room before she I put my perfume. I could know it to get her in the feel like a surgeon. Pip me a surgeon. Anyways, that's some good old classic music for all you people back at home. Um, but uh, stop it. by Cuddy Ranks. Let's see if we remember this one right here. I'm going to wait for Shock Chocolate to come back and join us because I want to drop this down when he gets here. Uh, but for anybody else at home, uh, I think that we're probably going for uh, Sam Cook. His buddy Holly did die in a plane crash. And so, oh, thanks, Amber. Just going with the music. Just going with the music. So for anybody at home, if you think you know it, please type it in the comments area. We're just having a little bit of fun. But who do you think, which superstar was shot by a motel manager in 1964? A shock. I think we're going with Sam Cook. What do you think? 
Uh, let's go with Sam Cook. Um, this one I don't know. So I, I, all the help out there that I can get or that we could get, um, definitely yeah. let's go with Sam Cook. Definitely Sam Cook. Three, two. We're right at Sam Cook. Ba, 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 ba. Good work, everybody. Uh, big shout out to Kate who just joined us. Hi, Kate. Kate's part of our our team, and she is uh, she does her own things too. She's got so many shows on the go right now. She's one of the uh, one of my favorite people that I know, and she's a great dancer and got a great entertainment uh, personality. And she is the young lady who is part of the team that loves to go watch Hanson that we were talking about earlier with Sarah. Okay. Yeah, with Sarah and the rest of her friends. Friends, hi Kate, say hi back. <laughs> What's up, Kate? How you doing? So we're on to the next one right now, guys. Which pop star self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head in 1994? We're doing part of the dark stuff right now. Was it Selena? We know Selena died from getting shot by somebody else. Was it Kurt Cobain? We know he did die by shooting himself in the head. But was it 1994? We know it wasn't Robert Palmer because we just heard about Robert Palmer. <laughs> yeah. Or was it, give me a drum roll, John Denver. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is John Denver back in the mix right now? John Denver's back in the mix right now. You know, you know, uh, you know, uh, the Google search for John Denver is going to go real big right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm look up with John Denver. What do you guys? Uh, what do you guys think at home? Do you guys think it was John Denver or Kurt Cobain who died of a gunshot wound in 1994? Man, I'm saying Kurt Cobain on this one. Yeah, didn't we? Didn't we just get that question too? Just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we told totally you. But I, for, but, I for, but I forget the year that they said it happened, though. Now, now I'm forgetting, what was it, 94, 5? I, I, like, I'll go with, again, Kurt Cobain again, I guess, because I think it was around that time. Yeah, me too. And uh, Leon says Kurt Cobain. Nicole says John Denver. Ooh, this is a tough one. Mm. I'd say, I say we got three people that said Kurt Cobain. Let's do Kirk in three, two. Hey, we're right. Hey. Oh, so I have another one here for you guys. And then I'm going to play some music because I think Shock will appreciate it and anybody else out there who likes any of that old stuff will appreciate it too. Heart Attack in 1974. What was it? Mama Cass Elliott's? Was it Brian Jones? I think Brian Jones is from um, Beach Boys, right? Oh, was he? Oh, I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Uh, was it Jim Morrison or was it Mark Boland? Heart attack in 1974. Heart attack in 1974. Write it down who you think it was. Was it Brian Jones? Was it Jim Morrison, Mark Boland? Or was it Mama Cass Elliott? While they're trying to figure that out, I'm gonna play a song for you. And, oh, we're gonna have two games going. Okay, the second game is I play a song and we let the, the crowd See if they know what the name was of the singer. And let's see if you know it. Because I know you're going to know it. So if you do know it, wait five seconds before you answer it, Shock. And let's see if the crowd knows it. Okay. It goes like this. Me a death, no me a death. No for them a worry, no for them a worry. Some of them a friend, some of them a friend. They got this papa. I know exactly who this is. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love this song. <laughs> oh, me too, man. <laughs> Oh, you just said it right there. <laughs> yes. uh, so anybody at home, this is a two-part question. Uh, who is the singer of that song? This was big in the 80s. Um, and of course, who, uh, the other question was, who had a heart attack in 1974? Everybody is saying that it, it was Jim Morrison. Do you think it was Jim Morrison? Uh, yeah, I'll go with Jim Morrison. Yeah, yeah. Jim Morrison. Okay, we're going with Jim Morrison. Three, two. Whoa, it was Mama Cass Elliot. Oh. Oh, that brings oh. our rating down. <laughs> uh, we just, we just, we just uh, lowered our batting average. Okay. <laughs> we totally did. And so uh, the song, The Stopper, who sang that song? Oh, somebody get it right because it, he literally said his name in the song. So Leon says he thinks it's Shubba Ranks. I think that that's pretty close, but not the answer. Wh who did you think, Shock? Well, the last name is correct, but it wasn't Shaba. It was a different name. And for some reason, I used to think when I would hear that song, I thought they were brothers because they were both ranks. And I was like, I didn't know it was just a, 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 a saying. Right. Um, 
But uh, it wasn't Shaba, but I know who sang that song uh, for anybody else that's out there that could get that song, The Stopper. And he was wearing in the video, he was wearing, it looked like an extremely hot day. Oh, and yeah. he was wearing a full suit, tie, and a button-up shirt. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even seeing the video. I'm just seeing the record, but I can only imagine. Okay, now, I, now, now, oh, okay, I got another one for you, okay? All right. So, so guys, at home, we're playing a game right now. Um, and, Leon, you got it right. It's Cutty Ranks. Cutty Ranks. That's Cutty Ranks, yes. Ranks. I'm like, oh, play, play it one more time. Like, just pump the, or can you, like, just, like, do that one piece that you just played, that preview you just did? Of course. Just give me one quick second. I have to go through the, uh, the stupid ad that's on. Sh uh, here we go. Here we go. Right there. <laughs> I heard him say something about Canada. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and then that's the funny thing, too, is because, like, I'm first generation born in Canada. My parents came from uh, Jamaica and we used to hear like Shaba and Kati Ranks and everybody mention Canada. And we'd be like, oh, they know about us. They know that we're here. So, yeah, uh, Kati Ranks, you're right. Uh, who got that one right? So Leon got that one right. Word up, Leon. He says he remembers watching that on MTV videos. Yeah, there. yeah, for sure. Okay. The next one's coming up in just a second, but as we're queuing up the next one, the next question goes like this. Who had a heart attack? Which pop star, which pop artist had a heart attack in 2005? Was it George Harrison, Patrick Swayze, Notorious B.I.G. or Luther Vandross? Patrick Swayze, we know, died of a heart uh, of cancer. Notorious B.I.G. gunshot wound. So was it George Harrison or Luther Vandross that died in 2005 of a heart attack? Type it in the comment area. What do you guys think? Did you want to say anything about this one? Uh, I'm trying to think. George Harrison. I think we didn't. We just get like a question similar to this. Just. Uh, okay, so George yeah. Harrison and what's the other name? Because we know the other two didn't happen. So it's George Harrison and who? Luther Vandross. 2005? 2005 heart attack. Uh, I'll go with Luther. Luther? I'll go with Luther with you as well. What do you guys think at home? And while you're typing it into the answer, Leon is, lives in uh, Ireland. And he says, tell Shaw Claire, us Irish love Jamaica and love reggae. And you know what, uh, Leon, thank you. And yeah, I love you too and love everything and dance hall. And I've never been to Ireland. So mm -hmm. I really cannot wait to actually go over there. Um, the, the closest I've been, and I know I'm going to sound like really weird saying it, the closest I've been was uh, Scotland. And so I've been, Ed, what was, uh, I'm probably saying it wrong, but Edinburgh or Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, and we were supposed to go to Ireland, but yeah. I never ended up getting a chance to go over there. So I can't wait to go back over, or not go back, go to Ireland real soon. And hopefully that'll happen once this whole pandemic is done and be able to go over there hopefully this year, and if not next year, for sure. Definitely. So Leon, if you have any connections out there for, uh, you know, clubs or concerts, and uh, you want to hook us up, uh, we would love to come to Ireland. <laughs> to Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go and do it up. Let's do it up, up, up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I just love traveling as an entertainer. I love it. And me and you, we met when we were traveling. We had said this on our first podcast together we had met in uh winnipeg it was winnipeg and i think you you posted a picture when uh we met uh I, recently it was like a really like it was like 2000 or something i was a, like it was a while back yeah it was one of those facebook memories you know when it it brings you back a memory it's like here is your memory from 2003 right yeah and so i was like oh my god that was a that was a fun little uh adventure yeah the, and in winnipeg and like I, I love going to Winnipeg. Winnipeg has always showed me so much love. So um, I can't wait to go back there. And when we just did the classified tour with me and Maestro uh, uh, two years ago, when we did the Canadian classic tour, 
yeah. us in through uh, Brandon and Winnipeg and performing there, it was absolutely like, I can't even tell you how crazy and bananas and hype it was. Uh, you had to have been there. So anybody that's there in Winnipeg that's seen the show, the Canadian Classic Tour, even if whatever other city, like if you saw it in Ottawa or Vancouver or Saskatchewan or wherever it was, you know exactly how awesome it was. And it was a great trip. Can't wait to go back to uh, Winnipeg again. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. They were so nice out there. Okay, we're on to uh, Heart Attack 2005. A whole bunch of people said it was Luther Vandross. Are we shooting for Lou? Yeah, I go for Lou. All right, here we go for Lou in three, two. Hey, we got it. Ba, 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 ba. The next part of the game is tell us who this singer is from the 80s. <laughs> I know Leon knows who this is. Yes, now. <laughs> Two bell ring, knife and fork, a fight for dumpling. Booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> yeah, man. Remember after this song came out and then Booyaka became a saying like Booyaka. Oh, yeah. shot. <laughs> it, was, it was after this song came out, everybody started saying Booyaka. They were like, Booyaka. And everybody who didn't know, they were like, what does that mean? I was like, oh, then you don't get it. <laughs> well, it's it's funny because um, you know who made that really big in my life was Ali G. Booyaka shot. Salaka salam. Oh, yeah. Ali, Ali G. Yeah. G? Oh, but, that's what, but that's exactly where he got it from. I won't say the name for people who are trying to guess, but this song is where he got the Booyaka from. Or at least this was the popular song that said Booyaka where most people got it from. Oh, nice. Well, you know what? Uh, uh, somebody said it was Shaggy. It's definitely not Shaggy. But Leon says Shaba. Uh, and Tony says Shaba. And Leon says Shaba. It's, uh, do we think it's Shaba? It is Shaba Ranks. It's definitely Shaba Ranks. Just how I was saying, how I thought him and Cutty Ranks were brothers. Shabba ranks, ting a ling a ling, school bell ring. I always like that line, like, knife and fork fight for dumpling. Hey, <laughs> I was so like, okay, who's it we're fighting? We're fighting over dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a break from the death part and let's play the game of Name That Tune. I'll play a whole bunch of reggae songs and then um, Shaw Claire and everybody at home will see if they can figure out what it is, okay? Okay, and it doesn't even just have to be just reggae. It could be whatever, like just whatever, but let's do it. Definitely, definitely. So I'll start with reggae because we're in the reggae mode and then I'll go into like maybe old school hip hop. All right, uh, let's see if you right. guys know this song. You can tell us the name of the singer or the name of the song. I know the song. <laughs> Time to have a dance party. <laughs> Do you know who this is? Absolutely. All right. At Nobody, nobody's written at home, but I think they're like 10 seconds behind or something like that, or five second lag. So you can tell us who you think it is, and then they can put it down as well. Okay, so one thing I do remember, because this was like high school days, and uh, for all you with uh, sensitive ears, it was like, it was taboo. Um, oral sex on women was taboo. So this is what this song was about. It's like, heads high, kill him with the no. Let them know, bad boys, they don't bow, which was oral sex. Oh. And and it was a big song. So sorry for all you ladies in uh, the 90s that didn't get it because it was taboo for people. Uh, well, for whatever, for people my age at the time. But it's called Heads High by Vegas. Nice. Well, so there's I a backstory. There's a backstory right there <laughs> on the song. Well, that that's perfect, you know, because I didn't know the backstory. I just love the song. And... Um, I, I play it every time I do a wedding. It's definitely on my late night list of songs to play. 
when I do my reggae set, but um, I didn't know that that's what it meant. And now I know. And so that will definitely not be a song that I play at the kids events. Well, no, you play, play it. There. People are going <laughs> to love it. But yeah, play it. They, they love the song. It was just, Seriously, but at that yeah. point, that's, yeah, at that point, like, because that would have been like 92-ish or something like that. Yeah. Um, it was just a thing, whatever. I don't know. It was uh, people that were uh, sexually frustrated. Um, but it just was a thing. And that's what the song was. So if you play it again, that little piece right there, you'll hear him say it. You'll, you'll hear him actually say it. And uh, like, yeah, you'll hear him say what I was just saying. And that was in the song. It was called Heads High and it was by uh, Vegas. Oh, that's crazy. And you are totally correct. And Leon, you got as well Heads High by Mr. Vegas. And, and that was it. Um, I, he, Leon says, Irish people knew that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a few new people that just joined us uh neef and uh denaro thank you guys joining us and steven what's up denaro neef steve what's up everybody and everybody else that's been with us um so far and i hope that i'm pronouncing everybody's names right i'm not the best when it comes to uh pronunciation for people's names but um hello and welcome to the party so here comes the next one let's see if you guys can figure this one out and it's got a million and a half views um, just, well, you never know exactly how many views there are because everybody's got their different renditions of these YouTube pages. So let's see if you guys can figure out the name of this song. <laughs> you hear the lyrics. It's the, no. That's a good one, right? Oh yeah, I'm. Okay, uh, should I say who I think it is or not yet? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you're at home, I, tell us who you think it is. Go ahead, Shock. I believe it's Egyptian. I'm going to. I forget what the name of this song is. And it was funny when this song came out because it was playing like on mainstream radio. Yeah. But again, it's one of these songs where if you listen to what he's actually saying, like he's saying, and I'll do it in the cleanest way possible. You, and, Well, this is what he actually says in the song. You got the tightest hole I ever been in in my life. What? Like, play it again and listen to it. I'm telling you, listen to exactly what he's saying. Like it was, but some people... They didn't catch it. We play it again, and you'll hear exactly what he said. He just said it. But I believe it's Egyptian. No, you're totally right. And now I have to look up the lyrics. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is what he said. I have to look up Girls love the song because they all wanted to be that way. And guys liked it because they always they all wanted a girl to be that way. But that's exactly what he's saying in the song. Just take a listen or read the lyrics. He's saying, "I want to hold you and whatever," and listen to the. Lyrics. I was like, I can't believe that they're just playing this like free willy. I think Foxy Brown did a remix or Little Kim did a remix on this song. Or or no, maybe it was, um, no, uh, what's her name there with uh, Young Money? And she did songs with Drake. Why am I can't get her name right right now? She had Anaconda. Okay, I might be, I might be reading the clean version, but it says, um, gal may wanna hold ya. Put my arms out around ya. A gal, you give me the tightest hold. Hold. It says hold. Me oh, it says hold. My life. No, he says hold. H-O-L-E. Not okay, hold. I'm, I'm writing dirty. <laughs> I'm looking for the dirty version now. No? Uh, yeah, This they might only have the clean version written down here. What's the name of her name now? The girl signed to Young Money. Why can't I get her name right? Um, she did songs with Drake. She, she had the song Anaconda. My Anaconda don't want no, no. What's her name? It's, it's, she's so popular. Why can't I even think about it right now? Uh, she has yeah. Anaconda. She has Starships. She had the song with Drake. Um, Somebody help me out there. You, I know you know who I'm talking about. I'm just forgetting what her name was. And then she used to be with Safari. I got Dallas. I got Donna. I got Anna, Anna, Anna. That lady, right? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And she was dating Meek Mills. I just can't remember. I don't know why the name is not coming to me right now. But uh, somebody out there knows exactly who I'm talking about. 
Um, and I'm just, the name is just not coming to me right now. That's my tough. Anna, my anaconda don't want. You know, at some point you're just going to scream it out in the air. And I know that that's, and, and we'll just know that that was who we were talking about back then, 20 minutes yeah. before. Yeah. So somebody out there helped me, but you guys know who I'm talking about. She's super popular. Everybody knows who she is. I'm just oh, having a when- brain fart. Minaj. Nicki Minaj, that's who it was. Yeah, she, yeah. I think it was her, she did the remix of this song um, yeah. with him, with uh, that guy. Oh, nice. Thank you, Leon and Nicole, for answering that for us. And you are right, it is uh, It is Gypshin, Hold You. That was a good song, I always liked that song. Yeah, oh. now you know exactly what it means, though. Yeah, oh, and guess <laughs> what? Bieber, Justin Bieber just went live. So we're gonna, we're gonna show you Justin Bieber just went live right here. He's playing chess. We're just taking a moment. He's on my, uh, it's so funny. So he's on my Instagram. Oh, okay. Now he's just staring at, and so it's funny when it says he's up, it pops up on my thing. And so the last time I went on, there was like 20 people. And then literally in a matter of 30 seconds, there was like 60,000 people on there. Yeah, Bieber, Bieber is big. What up if he hears me? What up, Bieber? Big up to the people in Stratford. I haven't been to Stratford in a bit, but I've used to go there all the time, especially Stratford, um, just past Stratford was a city called Bayfield. And I used to do this, a lot of stuff over at this place called the Black Dog. It was like a nice, small little pub. I've done like New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve parties there and other things there. So uh, big up to everybody in Stratford and Bayfield. And uh, what up, JB? Yeah, yeah, totally. I have never met him before. Uh, I've never seen his show, but um, I would have loved to have watched his performance because I know that they would have put a lot of production into it you know, when he was really big in the beginning tour. Oh, for sure. And then you got to even think about it. Like, remember who brought him up? Like it was Usher. So you knew Usher, Usher at that point was, Usher was, you know, like he still is. Like if you go through Usher's catalog. Um, so he was still there and Usher pretty much mentored him. Right. So, you know, yeah. he's going to have, you know, he's going to have that type of influence on his, uh, on his production on live shows and stuff like that. Well, you know, you know that there was a, um, there was a little bit of, of a battle to try and get Justin Bieber between Justin Timberlake and Usher. I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that happened. Yeah. So that, that was the, that was the whole thing way, way back in the day when he was playing guitar on the side of the road and he, and he was found, it was, uh, so anyways, Usher won it. And that was cool because I think, I think they did a really good job. With I think, yeah. And you know what? I think also just because of at the time who Usher was, and yeah. not taking anything away from Justin Timberlake because obviously we all know how great and uh, successful he is. But Usher had edge. He was doing stuff with Little John and, you know, he was running with Diddy. He was running with all that. So he had, I think, even like his, you know, what was his first song? Baby, 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 oh. And like even on there, but then as you've seen him progress, yeah, you would see that there was a little bit more edge. It wasn't as clean cut as what was coming out at the time and then one of the funny things is it's like when you see all these super clean cut like the Miley Cyrus's the Britney Spears the Christina Aguilera's and then all of a sudden once they get out of like once they turn from 16 into 18 20 21 it all seemed like they all just broke out and just went wild and you know got into their problems you know Britney cut her hair Christina was doing ex Dina you know, and now all of a sudden, uh, Bieber was doing stuff with Lil Wayne and all these other guys, and he had the Sorry song. So I think it was actually good that he went there because it gave him more of an edge than just being the typical, you know, like clean cut, uh, you know, um, just like, you know, uh, just whatever you can hear for the moment, it, it gave it more longevity for him, I think, I believe. Yeah, I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. Okay, we folks are still on to the game right now. And the game is Name That Tune. And, uh, oh, you know what? I just I just got into this song. I didn't just get into it, but I just, like, I, I, it's a newer song for me in the past. Every good party girls just broke out cause of your time. All the promise in the world anytime, then see all your wine. I just give you much, 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 cause you want every time. Rock it down, rock, 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 rock it down, 
I absolutely, yeah, the broke it down. I absolutely yeah. know the song, but I do not know who sings it or what it's actually called. But I absolutely, I love that part too. Broke, 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 broke it down. I like all of that song. Yeah, me too. Anybody at home know the name of that song? If you do, type it into the uh, into the comments area. Um, so it says here, now I don't know if this is actually the real singer or not, but it's the song's called Broke It Down, of course. Uh, it says Mr. Vegas. Could be. Yeah. Could be because, you know, it's one of those some things with when dance hall, it's like, one song will come out and then all of a sudden you just hear song after song after song after song after song from that one artist and it'll be like it'll be like flooding like their artist's name will flood the market for like that one moment i remember there was red rat back in the day and he came out and he had songs whatever beanie man when he came out with um world of dance and then he came out with all these songs so i wouldn't doubt if it was uh vegas yeah, I know the song. I know the song. I just don't know who sang it, and and I I, I guess yeah, it's called "Broke It Down," but I didn't know that's what it was called. I just like that part. Well, here's the next one for you. I think you you'll know this one. Once again, if you're listening at home, you know this song. Type it in the comment area. <laughs> oh, it just went silent. Can't hear it. You can't hear anything. Can you hear oh, me now? now? Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> you know this one of course i just said the yeah that's uh red rat red rat you were just talking about him that's why you, you brought him to my mind i was like red rat shit i haven't heard that song in a long time and uh we used to go and make not make fun of it but use it in a, in a fun way because just the way he kept saying oh no oh, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> oh no okay let's do a quick a quick game of uh old hip-hop old school okay. hip-hop okay um, all right old school hip-hop and so for anybody at home this is going to be the quick version um basically if you think you know it type it into the comment area and big shout out to nicole thank you for joining us nicole she's got to get out of here but thank you so much for hanging out with us thank you nicole much love much love so we're on to uh old school hip-hop um and so i think what we're going to do is we're going to start off with these guys and then we'll go on to the next one. If you think you know it, type in the comment area as quick as you possibly can. It goes like this. You know this one? Absolutely. What is it? Oh, it's crisscross. You got it. It's crisscross. Do you remember, remember but do you remember back in the day and there was another group called Another Bad Creation, ABC, and they had that song, Aisha. Aisha girl I ever had. I love that song. Yes. You know, you know the funny thing is, is this song was a diss to them. When you oh. hear it say, like, don't don't try and compare us to another bad little fad. If you listen to the rhymes, they're, yes. they're beefing, they're beefing with another bad creation. Yeah. Um, because another bad creation was uh, Michael Bivins from New Edition and Belle Biv DeVoe. Awesome. And yeah. these guys were Jermaine Dupree. Oh, really? Yeah. So when you hear those lines that they don't try and compare us to another bad little fad, they're beefing, they're rapping against each other. Um oh. But yeah, so there's another backstory for people who didn't realize it. But yeah, crisscross. I remember people in high school, people would wear their pants backwards and it sucked to go to the bathroom. Oh, that would <laughs> suck to go to the bathroom. You just talked about all the all the hard times of wearing those clothes backwards. Did you do that, Pat? No, I actually never did. I remember because 
uh, Chris Cross showed up. Uh, we were just talking about that show, Living Color, with uh, Jim Carrey and uh, Jamie Foxx and all them. And yeah. I remember Chris Cross, they came on that show and performed. So this is right when this song came out. And the next day, people at my school were wearing their shirts and their pants backwards. Nice. And uh, I never kind of got into it because it was awkward to work out. Like, you know, you got to go to the bathroom, you're zipping down your back like it's like a woman dress in the back and they ask you to help them zip them down. But that was your <laughs> pants and your shirt and everything. So, um, but yeah, that was, uh, yeah, crisscross jump. Teacher, can you help me undo my pants from the back? Yeah, that yeah, was a little bit tougher, right? Eh? Yeah, for sure. That was so much like that. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> so uh, Leon from Ireland says crisscross, and he did, he was, he is the Mac Daddy. <laughs> he says, he says, I'm the Miggity 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 Mac Daddy. And he said he <laughs> did wear his clothes backwards back in the day for this. Uh, yeah. But, how, how did that, how did, how did it work out? Was it difficult to, like, to, you know, to function? He said, he said they called the pants chippy pants. Chippy pants. Chippy pants. Okay. I never heard that, but yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. And then he had the Mac Daddy and the Miggity Daddy Mac and the Mac Daddy. Like everything was crisscross. They used to backwards flip whatever. Even like their crisscross letters, it was like a frontwards K and a backwards K. Like everything was flipped backwards inside yep. out and everything like that. So yeah. And I love chippy that song. Pants. <laughs> chippy pants. Keep your chippy pants up. I like that song. Um, I miss the bus. Oh, uh, I miss the bus. bus. And that's something that I never, ever, ever do again. Yeah. Yeah. That sample is from Boogie Down Productions, Karis One, which in the song was called Love's Gonna Get You. So if you hear, like, if you hear the beat yeah. for uh, Chris Cross and Miss the Bus, and yeah. you look up Boogie Down Productions, Love's Gonna Get You. That's where they got the beat from. It's exactly the exact same beat. So just some more, some more history and uh, backstory. Hear that, folks? We are getting educated right now. We're listening to music. We're having fun. We're hanging out. It's Trev and Shock. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us. We're not done just yet. We're playing a little game right now, and you're welcome to join us if you want to. If you know the name of this tune, type it in the comment area. We're on to the next one. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. It. Here we go. Remember this one? No, I'm not familiar with this one. I must have missed this one. Oh, you're you'll hear in a second. This is nine nineties euro, I guess. Okay. So Leon got it. Uh, so you're not familiar with that song. Uh. No, that one, that one I'm not, but I remember a guy used to wear jeans and he would have one leg was a short and the other leg was a full size jean and he had a big song to uh, Dreads. He's probably from England, I'm thinking, but I can't remember what the name of the guy was, if I'm, if I'm correct on that one. So this band, um, this is kind of funny. I'm having a moment right now because Leon just messaged and said, I performed with them in Ireland in 1996. Leon... What do you do? He said you you performed. Are you, yeah. were, you were you an entertainer? Because he's been playing with us for a while now, and I've been chatting with him for a while, but I didn't know that he was a performer of some sort. Some sorts. Leon, type in the comments. What kind of performer are you? Yeah, let's find out because you know who these guys. Oh, what the hell were these guys' name? They had like one of a. I like to move it, move it. Those guys. Is that uh, the same guys there? Oh. Um, I forget what they're called, but those guys from um, Madagascar movies. Yeah, no, I like that's, to move it, move it. It's same time, same era, but not the same band. So Out There Brothers did Boom Boom Boom, and then they did um, Pass the Toilet Paper. Um, oh, who did Move It, Move It? I think Captain something? Move It. Were they like, I wonder if something like Electric City or something? I don't know. I can't remember. I just know the song from all the 
all the uh, Madagascar movies and and then the song has been around forever. It's never going to go away. It's always going to be like, uh, you go to the Raptors game, they play it at the game all the time and stuff like that. That's it. Real to real. Real to real. That's what they were called. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Michael? Michael just joined us out, out there. So we're playing a little game right now. It is called Name That Tune. And uh, we're on to the next one. Let's see if you can figure this one out. I'm trying to, uh, like, I'm scrolling through to see if there's interesting ones that, like, might bring back some good old memories. Here we go. We all, we'll all know this one. Just give me a sec. Hey, Leia, welcome to the party. Leon, what were the mad stunt man? No, I like to move it, move it. Leon, what was your band called? Were you in a band? Are you telling me you were the mad stunt man? <laughs> because I do know that band. What was your band, Leon? All right, he's gonna get back to us in a second. And while we're waiting for him to get back to us, let's see if you remember this one. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> classic, classic. Yeah. If you think you know who this is, type it in. Type it in. Yeah, and if you don't know, look up The Departed movie. He's in it. Oh, yeah, The Departed movie. Um, he is the brother of the mega boy band uh, New Kids on the Block, Donnie Wahlberg. And he's done like a bunch of uh, really great, like, it's actually, when I see that he's in a movie, I actually like go to check it because he actually does really good movies and, um, and stuff. So uh, he does, yeah. He's been, he, yeah, he's had, um, he's had some, that movie with Will Ferrell where he's like the stepdad or the dad and I think Will Ferrell is the dad. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, stepdad. Oh, is it? Yeah, John Cena's in there. and They did a part two. Um, the good guys with The Rock and Samuel Jackson, him, like this. So somebody knows who that is. We all know who this is. Oh, yeah, we all know who this is. Well, who's this? Hey, if you're just joining us, what's the name of this band or song? Let's have it on it. The funny thing is I just watched a documentary on them. It just came up. I was watching YouTube and like, it just came up. It said the history of the band. And I was like, wow, okay. Or no, it was talking about Freedom, the rapper. Freedom, the rapper. I don't know Freedom, the rapper. He's the guy that raps in this band. Oh. It's oh. a move, 12%. Dump. And then he was all buff looking kind of iced tea like. Nice. Now I got it. Um, and a big shout out to Alexandria. Hey, Alexandria, if you're still watching, Alexandria is a, uh, a healer through music, but she's also a songwriter and she will be on our show. Um, we haven't reset the date, but we had to, uh, we were having a, supposed to be having a meeting on Friday. We had some problems on my end with Wi-Fi, but everything is back up and running now. So I'm going to reset up a show with her coming up probably next week or the week after. So please come and watch. She is awesome. Um, What's up, Alexandria? And uh, yeah, Leon says that he was a hip hop dancer in Ireland and performed live for thousands. So he was a hip hop dancer. So that's why he kind of understands this music and stuff like that. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. For word. Word up, Leon. Word up. Word up. All right. So we're on to the next one. Let's see if you know this song. Anybody at home knows it, type it in the comment area. We're playing Name That Tune with Shaw Claire and Trevor. I know know the song. One. Yeah, I just forget what her name is, but I know the song. The song goes like this. Come on. What's the name of that song? Pump up the jam. You got it, folks at home. I hope you guys got it too. We're what was her name though again? What was her name that sang it though? I forget what her name was. It was uh, Technotronic. Technotronic, yeah. It's a, it's yeah. An interesting name, eh? Technotronic. Yeah, Technotronic. Okay, yeah. But yeah, oh yeah. Pump up the jam. Again, you hear it at Raptors, baseball, soccer games. You go to any arena. This song is going to be around forever. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Here comes the next one. Leon, Michael, you guys got it. Here comes the next one. It can only be one of two songs with that noise. <laughs> we'll see if it's the original or if it's the remake. Oh, of course, yeah. It's the remake. Yeah. <laughs> so folks, if you know that one, type it in the comments. Say it out loud, Chuck. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla bam, ice. Bam, 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 bam. You got it. Here comes the yeah. next one. Here comes the next one. Dun, dun. Oh, look, big up to Ireland right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> People at home should know this one just by listening to that sound. And it's funny, the name um, in the logo, it says fine malt liquor and there is a four leaf clover. It's actually a three leaf clover, but yeah. So Ireland, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And that used to be the song, like you didn't even have to play like whatever. Like as soon as the horns came in right off the dome, that bam, 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 everybody knew what oh, song man. it was. And they just counted down the seconds until it was like, bam, 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 and they bam, just jumped. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. And they just jumped like they they jumped like they were going somewhere, but they were just jumping in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> they were going somewhere. I love that line. Big shout out to uh, Leon and Tony and Mike. You guys got that one. Here comes the next one. If you know it, type it in the comment area. This is an old classic for me. Yo, 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 where do you think you're going? What do you mean where I think I'm going, honey? I'm, I'm going out with the guys. That's what I told you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking promise. You better be back by seven. Oh, yeah. Who's it? Ah. Uh. You recognize this one, Shock? I know it. I'm just forgetting what it's called now, though, but I know it. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah. <laughs> Who sang it again? I know who's, who's this. I almost sounds Cypress Hillish, but I don't know if it's them. Bounce, come on, bounce. No, this is not Cypress Hill. Because I'm the king of the castle. Do you remember that one? Yeah, who sang it though again? I'm forgetting the the who sang it. It's. I'll tell. Do you want me to tell you who sang it? Yeah. Because I don't know the band, but I just know it by looking at YouTube here. It's K7. K7. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that song. I, okay, yeah. I never would have gotten K7. That, that I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have picked out of my head. I haven't heard that name in forever. Yeah, same with me. All right, here comes the next one. Um, you're definitely going to know this one. Oh, I just came across this mega mix. It's 50 songs in seven minutes. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder, I wonder what it is. I almost want to play it in the background while we're kind of chatting. And if people know it, they just type it in. <laughs> type but, in, oh, this song is that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do that? You want to give that a shot? Okay, yeah, let's do, yeah, let's do that one. And then, um, yeah, and then uh, I have to continue on. Um, but yeah, let's do this seven, uh, seven, uh, seven minute mega mix. Yeah, so um, what, what do you have happening in the next week do you have anything special going on for yourself like are you on any shows coming up um are you writing any music like tell the world what's happening with shock Claire right now um so i am yeah like uh, while i'm being self-isolated and everything i've been working on other projects um i am doing interviews uh releasing music so uh for anybody that's seen I have a track with me and ODB from the Wu-Tang Clan and Socrates. I tell right now it's called Swab Dirt Dogs. Um, I also have a song with Sito and Matt Yu. It's called Guan With It. That one just came out. Um, and we were talking earlier, I have a new one that's coming out real soon with uh, Count Classy, who is um, Tone Loke's nephew and Tone Loke's going to be on it. It's called Good Vibes. That's coming out. Um, the record that I have is going to be called... Um, uh, one day away 
Um, and that's going to be a part of the uh, album that I did with Classified that's coming out. So why I've been like sitting here over the past couple of months, we've been putting it all together. Um, a lot of times, if you see me, you can see me on the um, on Instagram or Facebook. Just look at my page. You'll see what I've been doing because like these things, you know, they post to your page and everything like that and catch up on some of the interviews and some of the good times and just trying to do the best and the most. Uh, while we're in this uh, situation right now and uh, and just give all this great music out. So by the time when this is all done, all of them you'd be like, oh man, I've been hearing all this new music from Shucks. And then now I'm coming to your city and now you get to see all of these songs because right now you just get to hear them um, on, on uh, YouTube and whatever. But then once this whole situation is over and people are able to go out again and stuff like that, all this stuff that you've been hearing, uh, you'll get to see it um live and up front and uh in person and i can't wait to come out and see all of everybody again and uh that's just what i'm doing i've been doing all of that and just making the product and getting ready to go and put it up for the public well this is the time to do it right for those yeah. people for those people at home who are you know going through stress during this period of time this is not a time to go through stress this is a time for reflection and recreation and um and to rebuild yourself, you know, become the bigger and better you. And so I'm really glad to hear that shock. I'm glad to hear that you've got like tons of music going on and, you know, you got some projects on the go and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm kind of doing the same thing. Like I'm sitting back here and I'm thinking to myself, I love this podcasting stuff. I think it is so fun to do. I'm just trying to master, you know, trying to get pictures up and videos up all at the same time. And, and then uh, eventually, you know, have some guests on here, some more guests and stuff like that. And just kind of, you know, figure it out. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. Well, you know what? It's good. And like you said, it's like, it's a cool situation because yeah, like you can, like we were talking about, it's like, it could be like, you know, now, you know, creative and, you know, like, uh, I don't want to say the word reinvent, but I guess I just said it, but you don't have to reinvent yourself, but you can create more of yourself. Um, yeah. You know, like you could be who you are, but also go and show people other sides of, you know, like, so like if they only know you for being able to build a fence, you could be like, oh, by the way, I also make, I can also build a pool. So yeah. you show people more about you. And I think that's what's been happening as I've been uh, sitting here writing music, writing songs and doing stuff and uh, people are going to see it. And uh, some of the best work is coming out now and talking with new, talking with people and uh, getting to know people because everybody you know we all talk now because you know nobody's well most people are not at work or out at their friend's house or over at the bar or wherever they're doing or whatever they're doing everybody's just communicating which is actually a good thing because the way people are communicating that means people are talking to each other and when you talk to different people and you talk to each other you learn from them and it helps go and inspire you and make you have your own personal growth as well yeah Definitely. Totally makes sense. Um, see, I'm still learning too. And something that just jumped in my mind about this whole podcasting thing is maybe I should have had headphones on because I wonder, I have you through the speakers and I'm wondering if it's echoing because your voice is happening live through Zoom to Facebook and then it's coming through my Zoom to Facebook. And so I wonder if it's hearing you and then it goes back and forth to videos, right? So I'm uh, still um, learning. Yeah, well, you know what? It it doesn't sound like it's echo. It doesn't. It's not echoing to me right now as I hear it. And I, you know, and I'm just so yeah. So I don't know whatever is going on over there or like on the Facebook, but on the Zoom where I'm hearing you, there's no echo. There's nothing like that going on. We'll take a look at it later and figure it out. I'll take a look at it later and figure it out. So let's do uh, okay, guys. Anyone who's at home right now, we're playing a little bit of name that tune. Now this seems like it's a quicker version. We've got 50 songs in less than seven minutes, and then Shaw Claire is out, and I'll be out. But thank you guys so much for joining us and hanging out with us. This has been a raw session. Hanging on out, just talking about music, playing a couple games, and um, just talking about life and hanging out. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, yes, thank you guys for joining us for sure. And um, thank you for your support, everybody out there. And uh, I hope to see you in your city real soon once everything clears up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Back to back. If you know it, type it in. Okay. So this is the game. So, Shaw Claire. Yeah. So this is the game, okay? So I'm going to press play. 
Once you know it, just yell it out loud, okay? Okay. And I'll do the same thing because it doesn't it doesn't come up here what it is. Um, and then anybody who's listening, if you know it, just type it in the comment as soon as possible. You know this one, right? Absolutely. You say it out loud. Notorious B.I.G. One more chance. One of my favorite artists of all time. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we go, guys. Back to back. Remember, if you know it, type it in the comment area. MC Hammer. Can't touch it. MC Can't Hammer. It. Yes. Wasn't that uh, Buster Rhymes and Janet Jackson? Just a oh, second ago? I didn't know that one. Nice. Yeah. Good work. I know the song. I just forget who sang it, but come on, baby. Yeah, same with me. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Regulate Nate Dogg and uh, Warren G. Yeah, you got it. Hey, we talked about this band earlier. Bell Biff DeVoe. Yeah. Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. Oh, I don't know this one. Adina Howard. Nice. Will Smith, for sure. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ride, ride, Coolio. Yeah. Coolio. Rhythm as a dancer. Uh, yeah, forget who sang it, but I know the song. Snap. Snap. Lauren Hill. Yeah. That thing, that thing. That was a good one. Yep. I'm not sure. Hello, Cool J. Hey, lover, yeah, with Boys to Men. That was a back to back Hello, Cool J on that one. Oh, we did this one already. Marky Mark. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. Oh, we did this one too. Yeah. Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. Oh, yeah. Jump around, yeah. Jump around. Oh, there's a good one. Come right in. Yeah, what were these guys called again? Forget their name. Uh, I don't remember either. Come on, ride the train, though. Oh, I know that group, but I forget what they called. Were uh, the girls at into yeah, something, something? Were between that? What were they called? It was like a three girl group. I don't even know what that girl band was, but I do remember the song. Yeah, it was a three girl group, a three girl band. Anybody Where else? The girls know? at and it jumped to something. We're with you in that. I think Missy Elliott did that track too. Oh, that's mm. uh, Leon's killing it. He's writing all of them down in there. <laughs> Poison. Yeah. <laughs> CNC Music Factory. Okay. Nice. Yes. like that one return of the mac return of the mac mark uh, mark uh, morrison mark morrison that was a good one eh? i missed that one that was a good one yeah again. we all know who tupac oh yeah california love Puff, uh two tupac snoop d-o-double-g yeah like this and like that baby uh, uh. Oh, rum shaker. There we go. Rex in effect. Yeah. Girl, you got me twisted now. Keep sweat. Nice. Keep sweat. 
Hypnotized. Yeah. B.I.G. B.I.G. Uh, here we go. More money, more problems. B.I.G. Yeah, that was a good one. TLC. Yep. TLC. One eye. <laughs> I think that's Tony Braxton. Big shout out to, uh, yeah, Tony Braxton, definitely. Big shout out to Andrew, Stephanie, uh, who have just joined us. We're playing Name That Tune. If you think you know it, type it in the comment area. Oh, hot Stepper. Yeah, here comes the Hot Stepper. Murderer. Murderer. That oh, was a good Michael, song. Black, uh, black or white, right? Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, I like that one. No diggity, Black Street. Yes. Uh, Spice Girls. Spice Girls. TLC, Scrubs. Nice. Uh, so mix a lot. Baby got Baby back. got back. Yeah. This is how we do it. Montel Jordan in there. Yeah. I heard. I heard he wrote that song in jail. That's how we do it. Actually, I think. I think. I. I think I heard that too. Actually, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, this is one of our other um, famous artists in Toronto. He just he just re they just revamped the song with um uh da, 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 that Cuban artist or sorry the Spanish artist. Oh, I I think I know who you're going to be playing right now. You, you totally know who I'm about to play. What's yeah. you know what that song was? Informer. Yeah, Informer. Remember uh, the guy that did Gasolina. Isn't that the same? Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Yankee. I think. Daddy Wait. Yankee. Yeah, Daddy yeah, Yankee. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Diddy and Mace. Diddy and Mace. Yeah. Yeah. Missy Elliott. So this one was Monica, but maybe Missy Elliott produced it. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, or Timberland, one of those two. They, but that was that sound of Missy Elliott, oh, Timberland. It totally was, yeah. Yeah, genuine Aaliyah, that whole sound back then. Oh yeah. Oh, Bone Thugs. Yeah, crisscross. What's up, Jason Chambers? Hey, Tanya. Hey, what's up, Jason Chambers? Hey, Louise. If you guys are joining us right now, I think we've got a minute left. We're playing a little game right now, and I think there's going to be five songs in the next minute, maybe even less. If you think you know what they are, type them into the comment area. <laughs> Waterfalls, there we go. Every step be missing you, Diddy. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Coolio, yeah. That whoop, there it is. It is, yes. Next, don't dance too close. Yeah, buddy. We did it. We got through it. Awesome. Congratulations, and you killed it, Shock. Like, uh, so many of those, right? Uh, yeah, I think I missed like a couple of them, but I think most of them I got, though. So for anybody who's at home joining us, it's Trevor and Shock Claire, and we were playing a bunch of games today. We were playing Name That Soon. We played, uh, you know, the quiz game, which we both killed as well. We did a great job with everybody's help out there. So uh, Shock, um, 
we are about to uh, disconnect from the game and all the other fun stuff. We want to thank everyone so much for hanging out with us. Shock, we've been on here for three hours, dude. Oh, wow. See, time flies. You're having a good time. Yeah. Well, originally, the first show that we ever decided to do together, we said a half an hour. It ended up being two hours and 38 minutes, something like that. Yeah. And this one was, uh, you know, almost, uh, yeah, three hours. So that's awesome. And Justin Bieber yeah. just went live again. <laughs> okay. And for everybody and for everybody out there that stuck with us for the whole three hours, thank you very much. Um, thank you for tuning in and having fun with us this afternoon while you're inside and uh, being safe. And uh, check me out on Instagram. Everything is Shockler Official. So Shockler Official, Facebook, Shockler Official, Instagram, or just Shockler on Twitter and Shockler Official YouTube. So uh, you can check me out everywhere. And uh, go and check out all the new songs, Swab Dirt Dogs with Old Dirty Bastard and Socrates. One Get It with uh, Matt Yu and Cito. And uh, look out for all the new stuff that's coming on. And uh, we'll do this again and uh, play with everybody out there. And uh, be safe, check on your friends, and um, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And um, what's today? Tuesday. We were just almost forgot what day it was earlier. Um, I know, right? Yeah. Have a great Tuesday. And uh, Trevor, don't forget to go and uh, hit me up with Max Million's uh, number afterwards. You got it. Yes. And, and um, yeah, thank you guys very much. And um, thank you and love for the support over the past 20 plus years. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the city, in your city real soon once we get over this stuff. You got it. Thanks again, Shaw Claire. And thank you, Leon and everybody hey, else who's been yeah. joining us. But Leon's been with us for like at least an hour playing the game. So thanks, Leon, for sticking around. And of course, yeah, and, and yeah, and yeah, and we come into, when you hear we're coming to Ireland, uh, definitely we'll go and check, we'll, we'll go and uh, link up. Yeah, yeah. Set us up. We want to come and entertain out there. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Okay. Bye, guys. Take care, Shock. All right. Peace, brother. Take care, brother. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye.